Aleyküm. Aleyküm selam. Uh, we were talking about the uh, the the black magic. Yeah, no problem. Okay, what about it? So, um, <clears throat> oh, hold on. So, with regard um, to him imagining that he'd done something mm -hmm. uh, that does not like, like impact his truthfulness mm -hmm. because of the evidence to the to that effect in the in the scholarly consensus that he was protected from that. He was protected. How yeah. how is protected? Because Allah protected him. Okay, so, so rather it, it was one of the matters of this world, all right. which are not the reason for which he was sent, and which are not the basis of his virtue, and in which he was like all other human beings. Uh, so it is not far fetched to say that he might imagine something that were not real. All right. Then things became clear to him later on, as indeed happened. Okay, so uh, I, I want to make it clear. Are you saying that uh, the Prophet he protected so he never made something wrong regarding Islam like teaching or ordering? Yes. Okay. Let us see what uh, what uh, what the Quran says. Uh, did Muhammad order anything which is not lawful for him to do ever? What does that mean? Like, you know, he forbid something is not lawful for him to forbid. I'm not sure what you're talking because about. you said that he is a protected, so he will not do something against the teaching of Allah, correct? Yeah. All right. Have you ever heard of a chapter is called a tahrim? Yes. Okay. What the first verse in that chapter? Do you know? A tahrim is Surah 66, or uh, exactly chapter yeah, 66. 66. Correct. Chapter 66. Oh. Allah supposedly saying to Muhammad. Why you forbid something which Allah didn't make it lawful for you? Which means this is against the teaching of Allah. Yeah. Hmm. But you just said that the Prophet, when it's come to teaching about Islam and practicing the teaching of Allah, he would never break the Allah teaching. No, he, he, he didn't. He didn't um, hmm. prohibit him in the beginning. My, no, it says here, it says... Why you are forbidding yourself from doing something? Allah made it lawful for you. Why? He's questioning. Why? You see, when you say why, why about what? Allah, he made it lawful yes. for you. Look, read to me. It says Allah, which Allah has made, made in the past, right? Ma made. Yeah. Huh? Okay. So he made okay. for you. So, so already. So Allah, uh -huh. Allah gave us permission to eat like many different types of fruit mm. but if i if i if i don't like to eat like apples mm. does that mean that i'm 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 sinning if i don't eat apples so why allah is okay so are you saying to me i mean don't, don't you think this is silly that allah is talking to muhammad saying to him why you are saying you will not like eat apple this is the, the whole thought allah in the seven galaxies i mean what a big deal i don't like to eat zucchini here we go so allah will make a verse to christian prince saying to him christian prince why you are Forbidding zucchini for yourself when I made it lawful for you. What the guy don't like it? So there's no way this is about apple and food. This is about your prophet having sex with a woman. Her name is Mary the cook. She's his servant. Is that correct? Uh, what? This is about a woman. Her name is Mary the cook. She is a slave of Muhammad. He was sleeping with her in the bed of his wife, Hafsa. Um. So Al Bukhari and Muslim, hmm. they narrated from Aisha that the Prophet used to uh, stay with Zainab bin Jahash and hmm. drink honey in her house. Hmm. Uh, she said, so Hafsa and I agreed that hmm. whichever of us the Prophet entered hmm. upon would, would say, I can smell hmm. a maghafir, a type of gum right. that has an unpleasant odor on you. Hmm. Have you eaten maghafir? Hmm. He entered upon one of them and she said, that to them hmm. he said no i drank honey at the house of zainab and jahash but i will never do it again so then this is hmm. the following verses was revealed why do you forbid yourself that which allah has allowed to you hmm. okay you know i will go with you but the scholars don't agree with this the scholars they say 
that this is about Muhammad sleeping with the women. Her name is Mary the cook and his wife Hafsa, she found him sleeping in the bed with her. And here we go. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. Just to show you, I'm not making things my own. This is the story. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. It says, O Prophet, why do you forbid what God has made lawful for you in term of your Coptic handmaid, Maria, when he lay with her in the house of Hafsa, who had been away, but who, upon entering and finding out, become upset. So look what happened. Muhammad is sleeping with, uh, he is doing boom, boom, with Mary the Copt. Hafsa, she opened the door. She find Muhammad in the bed. Who's saying that? Your scholars. Yeah, so that, that, that is one interpretation. Okay, so it doesn't matter, my friend. Obviously, here we have a problem. First of all, if it is honey or apple or chocolate or about sex, if Muhammad forbids something, it's not for him to forbid. That's mean he broke the order of Allah. And this is what Allah, he said in the Quran. That's not breaking the order. So why Allah is saying to him, why you forbid something? Obviously, he broke yeah, because, it. Be, yeah, because he said that he will never eat honey again. Exactly. So, but it's not right. Is it right or not right? Is it right or not right to say, I should not eat honey, according to you? Is it okay to yeah, say that? Not, or it's, 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 it's the man's choice. Okay, so why Allah saying it's not right then? No, he was he's asking why uh, the Prophet, uh, peace be upon him, like why did he forbid it for himself? Mm. Uh, that, that, that's, that's just a question. He's not saying he did something wrong. No, your, your Prophet right away, he broke his oath, the one who made to his wife, and he started doing what he was doing before. So your Prophet, he made this verse actually, so he can go back and sleep with Mary the Copt. <laughs> So he make an oath saying, I swear, I swear by Allah, I will never do that again, like as you said. And then he made this verse because he missed this woman, he want to sleep with her. So he made a verse so he can break his promise. Say, Allah told me why you are make you why you are forbidden this. Let me ask you, did your prophet sleep with Mary the Copt? Uh Mary the Copt, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. What do you mean not sure? Why well, uh, maybe I don't know. Well, all Islamic books confirm. He will go in front of you. Not only that, he is sleeping with her in the bed of his wife, and she is a madmaid. She is not. She never. He never married her. So here we need to ask ourselves: Where Allah He made it lawful for Muhammad to sleep with his handmaid? Nowhere. Show me a verse in the Quran. It says to a Muslims, "You can sleep with your handmaid." Can you show me a verse? You can sleep with your handmaid. Yeah, she is a handmaid. Yeah, in chapter 424. Chapter 424? No, this is uh, this is uh, about uh, uh, right hand process from the war. Yeah. Ma Malakatul Yameen is from the war. Mary the Kupchi is a gift given to Muhammad from the king or the ruler of Egypt. So yeah, she is he, not. He, he married her. No, he never married her. <clears throat> no, he never married her. It's a big fat lie. No Muslim, no Muslim count Mary the Kupt as one of his wives. Never. Uh, are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm very sure. Uh. <clears throat> so she was one of the prophet's concubines. Okay, but how? Who made it? Her, uh, made her lawful for him to sleep with her. As you see, the Quran says you can sleep with women who they are right hand process from war. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so the prophet. Okay. So how uh, Muhammad he got the uh, where he, where it is made lawful for him to sleep with a slave, who is not slave of war. Never. The Prophet uh, had four concubines, and one of whom uh, was Maria. Thank you. So she's his wife. So now, uh, where in the Quran it says for him it's lawful for you to have sex with a slave? She is slave from, like, not from war. Nowhere. Yeah, that, that it says. Where? And prohibit, prohibited to you all. Married woman, except those your right hands possess. Exactly, right hand possess is a slaves from war. Malikatul Yameen 
is women from war, not from buying yeah, them in the market. It, it, it's, it's, it's also talking about the, mm -hmm. um, the hand, handmaidens. No, my friend. Okay, show me where in the, which Islamic interpretation says that this is a, a Malikatul Yameen. It is about women who they are slaves, not from war. I just show like it, it, that. That's what it means. Like okay, it, I, I'm it, asking it, you where who is the scholar? He said that Malikatul Yamin is not about the right hand process is not about women who they are from war. Nowhere. And all Muslim scholars agree that I, uh, Mary, she was just a slave, was given to him as a gift. So he have no, he have no right to stay with her. She is not from war. Surah Al-Ahzab 33 verse 6 Al-Ahzab 33 verse number 6 Okay, what about it? The Prophet is closer to the believers than their own selves and hmm. his wives are their believers' mothers What does this mean? What does this have to do with our topic? Uh, Mary the cook, she is not his wife anyway What does this have to do with our topic? <clears throat> So, so you want to find a verse, like if, if the prophet did it, then then my friend, my friend, if Allah he, if Allah he made it lawful for him, that means it was made lawful for him. If he did not, then Muhammad is a fornicator. As no, simple no, as that. No, no. Okay, so show me where Allah he made it lawful for him to sleep with a slave. She is not a slave of war. I I just showed you where. If the, if the prophet did it, that means it, it, it's it's allowed. Oh, so the prophet, he do whatever he want, but Allah is asking him why you do that. <laughs> he, no, he, yeah, he's asking him why he did it. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. Okay, he's asking him why you forbid it. I made it lawful for you. But where is, where he, because you see, he, he made it lawful for you. That's mean he said that to him before. I'm not going to question you about I why you are forbidding something I made lawful for you unless I made it already lawful for you. So can you show me the verse where it says it's made lawful for him? Nowhere. And you know what? Let us not to argue too much about this one because you can stay there as much as you wish. You said that your prophet is protected when it's come to teaching. Did your prophet receive yeah. satanic verses? No. No. So the Quran is lying. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah will delete whatever shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad? Um, so even if, like, for argument's sake, this mm. is, this is, uh, true, mm. the scholars, uh, they said that he understood it as meaning that the shaitan caused the kafar to hear the words, not, not true. that he put them in the mouth of the prophet, not, not, so they heard not, them not, from not, him. Not true, here we go, this is a chapter 22, verse number 52, and this is the website is open in front of your eyes, I will, uh, I will go there, and we will see. You know what the verse is saying, Ch chapter 22, Al Hajj, verse number 52. Hmm. Let us see what your Islamic scholar says. You see, Muslim scholars they are trying to defend their, your prophet as much as they can, but obviously, can, can, you, can, can, you, can you read the next verse? No problem, I will read you the 10 verses after it, no problem. But let's see the, the, the meaning of this verse before we continue. And you see, I'm not, I'm not making the mean me myself, I'm, I'm going to read for you what your scholar says. Okay. This is Tafsir al -Jalalain. Read with me carefully. It says here, But when he recited the, script, the, the scripture, Satan cast into his recitation. Yeah. Okay. So there is no sahih isnad from the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, concerning this report. My friend, the Quran is not sahih. The Quran, the, 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 the Quran, Quran confirmed, hold, hold on, the Quran confirmed that your prophet here receives satanic verses, Allah will delete it. You see, it says, no, 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 no. okay, he tried, she okay, oh, no, 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 it says, Alqa shaytanu fi umniyate, Alqa shaytanu fi, where, 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 he, al shaytan, where, Alqa, where, umniyate, umniyate, who, Muhammad, not the, yeah, not the yeah, people. Okay, but, but, but read what it says. But read what it says. I'm reading. It says that, but it says that Allah removes. Thank you very much. So you said to me that Allah protect Muhammad from Shaitan. 
So yeah, he will not by removing. Okay, by re so it's too late. Uh, look, I, after I got shot, you are protecting me now. Yeah. What you, <laughs> this is not a bullet. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. It's it's worse than a bullet. He just he he, he just worship Shaitan. He just worship that read. He worship that read. Read 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 read. This, this, this my, my, story is uh, not uh, Listen, Abu, Abu Hazir, read read. But that when he recited the scripture, Shaitan cast into his recitation what is not from the Quran, but uh, which those whom he the prophet and has been sent to find the uh, 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 pleasing the prophet had it during the assembly of men of Quraysh after reciting the following verse from Surah al Najm have you considered Allah al Uzza and Manad the third yeah, yeah. one and then he said he you added can, as a result you, you as a can result. read yeah, yeah. Hmm. you can read Ibn Kathir's refutation of this in, okay. in Tafsir of Surah Al-Hajj okay I want to I want to take I want to take your promise if we go to Ibn Kathir we will accept what, what Ibn Kathir he say Ibn Kathir refutes this all right let us go and see what Ibn Kathir says is it okay Ibn Kathir in English has is far away from Ibn Kathir in Arabic so I'm going to open Ibn Kathir in Arabic is that okay you speak Arabic you should be broken but it's okay you understand right I understand very little bit. all right very little okay do you have somebody next to you speak arabic because i can open no, right no. now ibn kathir and you will see ibn no. kathir cannot refute that you see ibn kathir first of all he came more than 800 years after muhammad correct how somebody came in 800 years after muhammad refute what happened i mean this is silly yeah so it's like you now it's like you saying i came you came 1400 years after muhammad and you refuted this this is funny this is silly okay, okay. so you, you if you want the story from where from from Ajalalain. okay Ajalalain came how many years after okay muhammad? no i'm not i'm not taking it from the jalalain the quran saying it clearly allah will take it off allah will take it yeah. off so the quran he put it there for where in the quran allah will take it from where from the quran correct stop Okay, astaghfirullah. Okay. Listen, my friend, Allah will take the satanic verses from where? From the Quran or from the earlier pages? I want an answer, please. When it says when Allah, when when when, when shaitan, he mm. throws into the mouth of the prophet, Allah removes what Allah... Okay, he remove it from where? From where? From, from the recitation. Okay, what is recitation? Isn't the Quran is a recitation? Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you. So Allah remove from the recitation, yeah. which is the Quran, the satanic verses. So he is not protected because no, no, because shaitan because shaitan already it's already shit. Okay, the verses the, those verses coming from here from shaitan. So at that moment when your prophet was reciting, he was reciting what the word of shaitan. So Muhammad was a messenger no, of shaitan. No, 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 no. Does not say he recited it. He said. What, what it, do you mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Verse. Okay, hold on. It says. He he did Read recite. Hold on, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, okay, okay. Read the one after it. So Allah, will, uh, Shaitan, He will cause what He throw as a trial. Okay, He throw where you agree that this is in the tongue of the Prophet. Thank you very much. So Shaitan, okay. He throw that to cause a problem. No problem. That's wonderful because he's Shaitan anyway. I mean, what you expect Shaitan to say to do something good? No way. But what happened now that you're a prophet when he recited the words of Shaitan, he became a messenger of Shaitan. Okay, so it says that he, Allah, make what Allah, what Shaitan is thrown, a trial for those whose heart is a disease. Okay. So, mm. as I said before, mm -hmm. uh, the, the it's, it, it's meaning is that the shaitan causes the kuffar mm. to hear these words, mm. not that he put them in the mouth of the prophet, peace be upon him, so that they heard from him. My friend, but, but, but what happened, it's not the kuffar who got hurt, it was Muhammad. Because as you see, this has caused trouble to Muhammad. This is very funny explanation. Because the, the kuffar anyway, they don't believe in Muhammad, they don't follow Muhammad. This is funny. The one who was hurt by this statement is Muhammad and Islam, not the kuffar. This is why they are laughing at him, and now, now, me and you, we are talking about this because Muhammad is hurt by this, not the kuffar. <laughs> this is funny argument. The one who the, the, the shaitan he did not he, throw. He was not affected. The ears of the of the kuffar were affected. No, my friend, the hadith says that he, Muhammad, and the kuffar and the believer, they bow down together. Is that true or not? That he and who? The kuffar and. The believers and Muhammad yes, they bow down yes, together. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, so yes. all of them they worship what? The Lat al Uzza, but because Muhammad saying Lat al Uzza, how the Muslims they bow down. So, so that hurt the Muslims too. Because Muhammad he made the Muslims bow down. No, 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 no. 
to to the Muslims, he to the Muslims he was talking he, he was talking about Allah, hmm. and the and the, the kuffar they they uh, if 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 we assume that the satanic verses are true, but which they are not, hmm. if it's true, hmm. they were uh, they heard <laughs> that uh, about the alat al uzan and manat. Okay, let, let me ask you. So you are saying that the Quran is a lie. Because you are because you just said if the story of Al Al Gharaniq is a true, but isn't it the Quran saying Allah will take it off? So Allah will take off something that never happened. No, no, like it, 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 it like it happened like for a split second and he removed it right away. Thank you very much, guys. We just heard it from Abu Hussein that it happened for a split of second. Muhammad became a messenger of the Shaitan, speaking for Shaitan. It doesn't matter a second, two seconds. I, I, didn't, I didn't say he spoke. No, you did. You did. You said it happened for a speak. No, and you said everybody heard you. It's recorded. It's you said he put it in his recitation. You agreed. Come on, you are a man. Don't take it. Don't don't swallow your words. You said ten minutes ago that yes, Shaitan. He put it in the recitation. Thank you, recitation. I said to you, and as you remember, I said to you, isn't it recitation Quran? You said yes. And then you said, okay, that's fine. So now he put it in the recitation, which is in the mouth of Muhammad, which means Muhammad reciting the shaitan words and Allah words in the same time. And that make it mixed together. So shaitan is mixing Quran with his own word. And now how we can guarantee that this verse in the front of you is not from shaitan? This verse? Yeah, because shaitan, he want to make you relax. Here we go. He got Muhammad saying his words, and now people they know that, that this is gonna be uh, true. This is wrong. So um, Allah, Shaitan, he made this verse to Muhammad saying, "Okay, well, you know what? Uh, whatever Shaitan he put in there, I will take it off. Don't worry." No, okay. no, no. If if Shaitan wrote this verse, mm -hmm. then he would he would he would tell people to go steal. He would tell people to go uh, rape. Mm -hmm. He would tell people to go. Uh, like but isn't it, but isn't it the babies, Quran? Isn't like, it the Quran like, like teach you? Isn't it the isn't it the Quran teach you to rape and to kill and to steal? Isn't it the Muslim accuse your prophet that he stole an underwear? Stole what? An underwear. What are you talking about? Yeah. The Quran, chapter three, verse one sixty one. They are fighting over stolen goods. And you are saying to me the Quran, if the, if this is from Shaitan, the Shaitan should teach him to steal. Here we go. The Muslims they are fighting with their prophet, saying that he illegally stole from the booty. So now we have the parrot of the Caribbean fighting over a piece of clothing, accusing their prophet that he is a thief. He stole it from the theft. And you just said, if this book from Shaitan, then you will find the Quran teaching you to steal. But the Quran make it legal to steal. As long as you are stealing from non-Muslims. Okay, okay. Sh show me where it says. Chapter 3, uh, verse... <laughs> chapter 3. The right underwear. Ch chapter 3, verse 161. Let us see, you see. Because you might say I'm making things up. I, so I, I like to show the, the, the proof. So you don't say I'm making things up. You know, here we go. Let me show it to you on the screen. I don't say things from my own. <clears throat> Here we go. This is the Sira Jalalain in the front of you. This is the ah, from a tafsir. Ah, ah. So the, the Quran doesn't say that. Okay, no, the Quran says, "Wa ma kana li nabiyyin an yaghul." It's not for a prophet to be a thief. Why, why, why Allah saying that? Who is the one accusing him to be a thief? Tell me. Can you tell me? It's the Muslims. Read it. When, a, when some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, and some people began to say, perhaps the Prophet took it. The following verse, or following was revealed. Wait, wait, it is not for is a Prophet this? to be a fraud. They accuse him to be a fraud. The Muslims who, who, who believe red in Muhammad. Velvet cloth. Huh? The Muslims, the Muhammadan. say underwear? It's not underwear. It's what you tell me. It's a. Is it a. Is it a bra? What? I'm asking you. You tell me. Okay. It's a piece. It's a piece of red cloth. It's who? Who? Who is the man who wanna wear red clothes? Those are Arab. So it's a piece of red red velvet clothes. Okay. So what is that? Is it underwear of women? Do, it say do Arab do Arab men wear red clothing? Are you saying to me your prophet was Santa Claus? 
I'm just asking you. So obviously it's an underwear. Maybe a bikini. We do not know. Uh, maybe swimming suit. Uh, uh, I don't know. You tell me. But w what we care for, your followers, they are laughing at your prophet, saying to him, "You are a fraud." Read it. Abu Hussein is dying laughing now. <laughs> I made Muslims laugh at their prophet. What do you want more? <laughs> okay. So what do you say now? Okay, um, this is obviously fake. Obviously fake? <laughs> Jalalain. <laughs> Jalalain is fa fake? <laughs> when someone... Yeah, it doesn't say underwear. What, what are you saying? Okay. So. It doesn't say... Ah, the problem is the underwear now. It doesn't say underwear. Okay, maybe it's a pant. Not underwear, you think? <laughs> maybe it's a bra. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was a short. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a pajama. You know? Yeah. So, you look. You, you Muslims accusing your prophet to be a fraud and to be a thief. What kind of religion? If those are the companion of Muhammad, accusing their best man to be a fraud and to be a thief. So, what about the rest? This is the best man. Stop. Hmm? Day of um, yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> you do not know about this. Okay, you know yeah. what? I'm not going to uh, ask you questions no more. I want you to help me. You see, there's like 800 people listening. I want you to tell us how you can prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet. You know, when we say somebody is a prophet, shouldn't he have a prophecy? Prophecy? Yeah. I mean, you call oh, a oh, yeah. you, you, you call a person yeah, a prophet. Like he should be. The prophet had many prophecies. Like what? Um, like what? I, I can show you uh, some of them. Give, um, give me one. <laughs> I can show you. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> By the way. I mean, if the prophet, if he, if the prophet was accused that he stole an underwear, shouldn't Allah tell us who took it? <laughs> well, I mean, what kind of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? He cannot prophesy who is the one who took the underwear. Here we go. They are accusing him yeah. that he took a piece of a cloth. So shouldn't the prophet prophesy who took it? He go to home. He listen to Allah. Allah inspire him. He says to him, go to the house of a Christian prince. Open the closet. Go behind the closet and you will find the box. You open the box, inside the box, there's a box. And then you open the box, inside the box, there's another box. And then you open the box, inside the box, inside the box, inside the box, inside the box and then you will find the red underwear. And that will make Muhammad a prophet. But look, they accuse him to be a thief, he's stealing underwear. He could not prophesy who took it. Or what he okay, came. It doesn't, you, like, you don't have to be that dishonest and say it's underwear. My friend, like it, it, is, it, it is a piece of a cloth. It is red. You tell me. Why you Muslim? You don't tell us what it is then. Why you cannot be it's honest? Not, like, why you Muslim? No, 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 no. Like why, you, why you Muslims cannot be honest and tell us what it is? What does it say in Arabic? Qatifa. Uh, okay. Uh, piece of a clothing. Okay. Okay. So you why you don't tell us what it is? Why you don't tell us it's not an tell us it's a pan, tell us it's a jacket, why you don't say what it is? So all what we know like now a scarf, you, well, why not a scarf? Like, okay, well, at, that, like, at that time there is no underwear anyway, so obviously Aisha she used to you said a scarf, right? Everybody did you hear it? He said a scarf, thank you very much. That's an underwear. According to the hadith, Aisha she said that the Prophet used to order me to put a sheet between my legs he, and he fondled me. That is their underwear. You, you, okay. What are you talking about? Okay, man? hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, brother, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, huh. here we go. You are the one who came with the word scarf. A scarf, not me. It's your mistake. Not mis my, my mistake. What are you talking about? You are talking to Christian Prince. Get ready. Here we go. Do you see it? He, I warp myself, and here in the translation they say Izar. So when she is in her administration, look how nice your prophet, man, how decent he is. The woman, she is a bleeding and he is not caring. And he is ordering his wife to put a sheet around her private part so he can fondle her. Does it say that or I'm making things out? 
making things oh, up. Which one? Hmm? And here it says agreed upon. In Arabic it says agreed upon. Do you see it? So you can say it's not accepted. Sahih. Rawahu al-Bukhari, hadith number 300, and in Muslim, hadith number 293, and agreed upon. Alay. Okay, so this is agreed upon, and the Prophet, he used to fondle his wife while she have ministration by ordering her to put an izar, a sheet around a scarf, around her private part. So why you are okay, saying it's not that, under... That's, that's, that's very clean. That's a very clean way of doing it. It's a clean. The woman she have menstruation. Yeah. How is how is that a clean? Explain to us. Actually, you know what, Abu Hussein, I'm very naive. You know, I'm single. I did not understand what's happening here. Can you explain to us what exactly your prophet did? What? Can you explain to us what your prophet did? Because I am single. I did not. I do not know what those things is. I do not know what menstruation mean. I don't know. So, what your prophet was doing there? If you can explain to us. So, um, this is just uh, reporting um, uh, what the what the prophet uh, had had done with with his wife. Yeah, what what he like, did? Like in, in 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 the book of in the book of Solomon, mm -hmm. you see that that Solomon had had sex with his wife, and then you see mm -hmm. that. It, the, the Bible talks in the book of Solomon it says he ordered his wife to put a sheet between her legs so, so um, this is the so Izzar, my, so like, my friend okay, I'm, asking you, like, I'm asking you okay like, I'm asking you like, to explain like to me okay I'm that, asking that you the, like, the body. okay I'm asking you what he what she did exactly and what your prophet was doing here so um he would um It's it's not my business to talk about what he did. Okay, if it's well, you are you are not you are you are not a Muslim. Are you saying you are not a Muslim? Not, no, no, no. I'm saying it's not my business uh -huh. to talk about what the prophet did in his sexual life. Uh huh. Why? So why 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 the prophet wife? She is telling us what happened in his sexual life. Is if this is none of your Muslims' business? Yeah. So. Hmm. Why? Why is she is um, talking? This, 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 this is talking about uh -huh. during menstruation. I, I understand, but what he was doing? Why you are trying to avoid talking? This is a guy who claimed to be a prophet. And uh, let me ask you: Are you allowed as a Muslim to have sex with your wife when she has menstruation? Uh, I, 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 well, yeah. This, this hadith says yes. So, yeah. Okay, but is it, this is according to, you know, you see, guys, did he say yeah? Yeah, okay. You said that the Prophet never broke the teaching of Allah. The Quran says... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. just you said yes, no, no, no. you said everybody heard you. No, 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 I got busted, I got you busted. When I was menstruating, this is talking about what the Prophet did in his so when I was menstruating, uh -huh. and then he, he, he did this after she, she finished menstruating. No, she said, I am, uh, you know, here we go. Let's read the hadith again. <laughs> no, this is, this is I was menstruating. I was menstruating, not after. Read it. And here we go in Arabic. And I am ministrating exactly as a translation so please don't play games and now because i said to you the quran say that you cannot do that you are trying to swallow your words look what the quran said the quran get your prophet busted he is hypocrite the quran says that when women they have ministration stay away from them chapter 22 verse no, chapter sorry chapter 2 verse 22 uh, 2, 2, and chapter, yeah, this verse is enough. Here we go. It says, Therefore, keep away from women during menses. Does it say that? Yeah, it, it, you can't have uh, sexual intercourse. Okay. When, so uh, your prophet was, so what, she, so what your prophet was doing? Okay, so while your prophet was fondling her, 
when she is having her menstruation. The Quran says, Oh, there we go. There we go. It says fondle. It doesn't say sexual intercourse. So what fondle? Explain to me. I'm, I'm naive. What fondle mean? So like, so like, like, um, mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. touch. Ah, but he is ordering her to put an izar between her legs. Okay. okay. Yeah, so how, how can you so, have sexual intercourse? Okay, hold on. Like he's between your legs. Okay, hold on. Uh, ah, so uh, guys, he is saying he did not have intercourse, but he was playing between her uh, with his private part. That is not sex in Islam. So what is sex in Islam then? Sexual intercourse in Islam is um, mm. like. Okay, but, <laughs> I don't, I don't have to okay. Look what the Quran really. says. Look what the Quran says. It says, "So keep away from them. Keep away." Did not even mention anything about sexual. Keep away from them. Stay away from them. Why your prophet is not staying away? You just said. According, everybody heard you. He was playing with her, touching her, playing here, there, fing fingers, nose, tongue, whatever. Blah blah blah. Okay. So now your prophet is breaking the Quran because the Quran says when they have their menses, stay away from them. Yeah, so when it says keep away from them, it means don't have sex with them. Ah, okay. Okay, you see, I want to play the game that you played with me. You said to me where it says underwear. Can you show me where it says don't have sex with them? Yeah, where? I showed you. Where, where? The Quran doesn't say that. The Quran says, says the Quran says stay away from them. In, 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 in Surah Baqarah, uh, uh, ayah 222. Well, this is the verse we're reading from. Here we go. It doesn't say what yeah. you're saying. My friend, read. It says, Wala Don't get it close to them. Don't get it close. Nowhere it says sex. Don't get close to them. Simple. Say that an an adha. Uh, a harmful thing for a husband to have a sexual intercourse with his wife mm. while she is having her menses. Therefore, keep away from women during menses. My friend, nowhere in the verse it says sexual intercourse, not even once. And I challenge you. Here we go. I have the verse in front of you in Arabic. Can you show me which word is the word sexual intercourse? Nowhere. Well, well, well the, the, the Torah says that. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. You see, Muhammad is trying to copy the Jews, right? So I'm, I'm asking you now. Where in the verse says, don't have sexual intercourse? Yeah, so when it says keep away, it means you can't have sex with them. Okay, you cannot get close to them too. It says, don't get close to them. Let me ask you, did your prophet say that women and shit, excuse my language, are the one who break your uh, preparation for a prayer? Women and what? Women and shit. And women and shit? Yeah. So how this woman, I, I don't how this woman, she have menstruation and your prophet touching her and now he is going to pray and she have menstruation. If the Quran said that women and poop, you know, both they break your, uh, you know, uh, preparation for a prayer, your, 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 your prayer will not be accepted. Uh, so it, it doesn't say um, <laughs> that the prophet had sexual intercourse with her. It said that he he just touched her, and then in this verse, it, 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 it uh, when it says keep away from them, mm. it means don't have sex with them. Okay, so uh, anything you have to do with sex, you don't have sex with them. So you just say your prophet was playing with her. Is is it yeah. is, okay? Isn't it fundalin? You see, in Arabic, it says you basher. You basher is you yeah. starting sex. This is what you basher mean. You want me to show you the proof? I just can't type the word you basher in hadith and you will see it all over. It is a starting sex, whatever it is. Now read here with me. In chapter 5, verse number 6, it says that if you go, if you are in, a, like, you know, when you are a Muslim, you want to pray, all right? You have to wash, uh, wash etc., blah, 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 okay? And then it says 
and if one of them is sick or he was in trouble in a journey and he, any so of you I or any or any of you comes from doing poo poo or touch women does it say that what i is this chapter 5 verse 6 So, so Aisha, uh, may Allah be pleased with her, said, according to a report narrated by her, whoever told you that Muhammad concealed anything that he was instructed to convey has told the gravest lies against Allah. She then recited the verse mentioned. Mm. Um, uh, it says, and remember when you said to him, Zayn, uh, Zayd bin Harith, um, on whom Allah bestowed grace, um, have done it. So he says, keep your wife to what, yourself. What are you reading now? What, why are you reading that verse? Um, I asked uh, you to read chapter 5, verse number 6, where it says that if you touch women and, sh and poop, your prayer is not accepted no more. Your prophet is not only touching women, he is touching the women she had menstruation. And the Quran says to him, stay away from women. So the Quran considers women are dirty, same as poop. And here you will see that women who have menstruation, your prophet is doing what he is doing with her. Yeah, okay. So it says right here that um, um, you said five for six. Hmm. What? So if you are defiled, purify, wash yourselves. But if you are sick with an illness, mm. made worse by water, mm. or on a journey traveling, mm. or if any of you comes from the from the privy, that is, mm. if he is if he has defecated, mm. or if you have touched a woman, mm. as as mentioned already in the verse Surah Al Nisa. Mm. Uh, so if you touch uh, a woman, what what touch a what, what touch a woman mean? Is that mean sex? Yeah. Okay, thank you, guys. You just say to me in the hadith that the prophet was touching her. And you now you confirm that the word touch means sex. No, no. In this, in this verse, it says t t like if you you can't have sex. Hold on. The and, word and, and, the word here. I just ask you. The word there in the Quran appear is touched. Doesn't say the word sex. I ask you, is it mean that the, when the Quran says the word touch them means sex? You said yes. Well, this is what the Hadith is saying according to you. You said he was touching her. So touch means yeah, sex? Not, he, he did not have sexual intercourse. But you just say that touch means sex, and here the word is touch too. Can you explain what this what, what, is, what this is talking about? It says... My friend, says, you cannot explain, oh, you are in trouble. Okay, you know what? Forget about all of this. Up, uh, uh, Abu Hassan, Abu Hassan, everybody, everybody... Wash your faces and hands up to the elbows, that is, including them, and the elbows, as clarified in the sunnah, hmm. and, and wipe your heads. Okay, why why you wash why you wash your hand to the elbow? Yes, this is talking about the prayer. So so how do you know that the prophet? Uh, 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 did, uh, so he had to perform wudu before he did the prayer. Okay, let me ask you. Uh, when uh, was your prophet a clean person? Yeah. Okay. Do you think a clean person he will he will he will like, 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 okay? Do you think a clean like the okay? Standard okay. We will see. We will see if that's okay. Uh, guys, the prophet he have high standard of cleanliness. Okay. Let me out. So, do you think a clean person he will do any kind of sexual activities with a woman she have her menstruation? Is that a cleaning for you? I mean, the woman she hate herself now. She have her menstruation. In the top of that, now she has to satisfy a guy who is horny. Is that how a clean man he act? 
okay, so so there's nothing wrong. It's actually like it's um, she he didn't have sexual intercourse with her. As I said, he just touched her. Abu Hussein, um, Abu Hussein, you know, I'm, I'm I'm scratching my head now. Actually, I have some lice. Do you think if I have a lice, that's make make me dirty? If I have a lice, you have lice on your head. Not many. It's few. <laughs> Maybe because you keep sitting behind the screen and you don't show your face. Mm. So what do you think? Does that make me dirty if I have lice? Ask yourself that. No, I'm asking you. I mean, is is lice because somebody he's taking a shower or because he's filthy or he's dirty or clean? What do you think? Uh, Be honest. It's okay. You can you can you can hurt my feet. No problem. I have a glue. I will fix it. It's probably going to be a trap. It's what? It's probably a trap. You're trapping me. Ah, it's a trap. It's a, it's a trap. Yeah, there's an article written by Muslims about debating Christian prince. And the article, they say, if a Christian prince says something good about the prophet, don't say yes because it's a trap. If he says something, something bad, don't say no because it's a trap. So it doesn't matter what I say, he will say it's a trap. So what is what, what is the point of the conversation? You have to tell me. I have some lies in my head. Do you think I am dirty? If, if you if you have lice, yeah, sure, you're dirty. Thank you very much. So if I show you now that you're a prophet, he have a lot of lice in his head, what you would do? Um, well, if, like it, if, if they if they live in the in the desert, then that's very common because mm. like they're outside and mm. uh, but if for you, if you have lice and you're in your house, mm. that would mean that <laughs> that you're extra dirty. Mm. <laughs> well, you just say that the one who have lice obviously he is dirty. So at that time, it doesn't matter what he is. That time, that this time, he is dirty still. Thank you very much. So you're a prophet here. Here we go. He go and sit in the lap of a woman and she is taking lice from his hair. And this is a Sahih Hadith. Are you allowed as a Muslim to take shower in dirty water, Abu Hussein? In dirty water? Yeah. No. What about ablution for a prayer? Yeah, no, no, it has to be clean water. So, but, but if, so if there's no so you cannot, water, okay, what, water, what, then, okay, what then, if, then, uh, okay, I, I want to tell you a story. If a guy he is walking down street and he want to do ablution uh, and he saw a, a place have a dead dog in the water, a small tiny container of water, there's dead dog, there's women blood from period, there's garbage, and he did ablution. Is his prayer is accepted? Uh, if there was no other water? Yeah. It's all about in Islam. It's all about intention. So if his intention was to was to do good, mm. then Allah would, would no. Would but reward. there is other water. He live in so. he live in a town. There is other water. He is not in the desert. He is in his home. So he there is there is a little tiny place in the town, which all people throw garbage. Is that okay? There is water. There is people. They water drink from it. You know he's in town. He's not in traveling from place to place. Is that okay? <clears throat> Um, I feel like it's a trap again. It's a trap for sure. It's a trap. I mean, you're a prophet. He takes shower with dead dogs. Is that what true? What are you talking about? What are you talking dogs. about? Here we go. This is your prophet taking shower with dead dogs. Your prophet is a mentally ill person, my friend. Sorry, I, I'm sorry to say, I'm not trying to insult you, but this is the truth. You know, here we go. This is the hadith, and this is Sahih, where it says that your prophet he jump in the water. He have a dead dog next to him. Actually, they are pieces. They became pieces, you know, those dogs. I mean, and then there's women, the, the, the rags of the women, the, the, the women at that time, they use rags. They put them at their private part to, to observe the blood. They throw the blood there. And not only that, dogs, flesh, and rags of menstruation and garbage are dumped. And you're a prophet. He don't have a problem with that. Read carefully, read carefully with me the hadith, please. I want you to read carefully. It was said, O Messenger of Allah, you perform wudu 
from the will into which oh this hadith i know this hadith oh you know it okay tell me about it go okay. ahead okay so so the the well of buddha uh -huh. um it, it was the the water was 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 running continuously if so if, if, if 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 now the, now we have we have two spring of water in 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 in, uh, in mecca we have uh, we have one is called zamzam and we have one is called buddha <laughs> My friend, <laughs> what are no, there? It, it, what are uh, there? Like what are, my friend? On, on top of running water. No, so what are water there? Is no, and this is this is a dirty water. You can stand in it. What running water? There's no river. There's no river. Okay, hold on. What if I show you the the description of how big it is, and it's not running water? Why well, you are making things up, Abu Hussein? I mean, you know what? If you can show me that this is running water, you you are you are the hero. Can you show me what it says that? Why well, you are making things up? Uh, hold on, let me see. Hmm. This is the hadith. Here we go in front of you, and this is Sahih. Oh, sorry, the Daif. It says, "Read with me, Abu Hussein, in the, in the screen." I measured the breadth of the well of Buddha with my sheet, which I stretched over it. Look how small it is. I yeah. didn't measure it with. Imam at at the Hawi said that the well of Buddha was like a ride leading to a garden. This means that the water is always running and it's not stained, it's not uh, uh, static. Not, it's not, it's not, who, 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 uh, is, who is this? Uh, who is this at the How he knew where he got this from? He was. Yeah, he so, was. Who, he uh, was there. He's Here we go. Scholar, so. Abu Dawood. No, he's a scholar. He's a potato. Abu Dawood saying, "I measured. He measured it. I measured it. Not saying I heard." I measured the breadth of the well of Buddha with my sheet, look how small it is, which I stretch over it. I then measure it with the, the, with the hand. It measured 60 cubits in the breadth. And I then ask the man who opened the door of the garden for me and admitted me to it, has the condition that will change from what it had originally to be in the past. He said, no, I saw the color of the water in this well had it changed. So nothing changed in the, and this is the size, it's the original size. It's very small one, it's not a running water. And if it's running water, people will not throw garbage in it because the people they need to drink, this is a desert. They will kill you actually if you throw if you throw dirt in, in, a, in a well which people can drink from. But because this is, this is the dirty water, Okay, so... Um, and look what it says yeah, here. How, look, how, how would he know that Abu Dawood's measurement was correct? My friend, it doesn't matter. He's your, he's, 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 you know, this is your Muslim books. Uh, I ask, I ask, where does it reach when it is level goes down? He said, uh, rep he replied, be, be, below the private part of the body. So it's six cubit wide and it is less than the private part. Very small, tiny. It's like a jacuzzi place. So we have the what dogs. Do mean, what do you mean? What do you mean? A small, tiny? <laughs> it's a small. It's six cubit. What do you know? What six cubit mean? Yeah, it's around um... six arms, right? Six arms. Yeah. Okay, six arms is small. This is the size of my room. And, uh, 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 and the level of the water is down your private part. Okay. And what is inside the water? Dead dogs. Isn't it enough to have one dog? No, there's dead dogs. What else? Women of blood from period. And what else? Garbage. And not only that, it says a netin. The water stink. Read carefully. All of those in six, six, less than six meter, five meter space of water. Small, tiny jacuzzi. And you're a prophet, yet he is washing himself from that water. Okay, so let, let, let's assume let's assume that he did. So, like, what does that do? Like, how, how, what does that change? That's me. Muhammad is crazy because you see the people they are saying to him, "Are you doing this?" Okay, hold on, hold on. Why you are? Why they are asking him why you are doing that? If this is not normal, you tell me. You tell yeah, me. Yeah, because this is the only water they had. He is in the city, my friend. He is a city. People walking by. They are, if this is the only water they have, that would be stupid even to wash from. Because this is dirty. It will make you sick. There's Corona. Did you hear about Corona? 
So yeah, if you are you saying to me Abu Hussein, if you want to do uh, okay, are 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 you saying are are you saying that if you are going to pray and you find a little tiny space of water, have dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage in it, you are going to do the same as Muhammad? No, that's that, that's only for a specific. Ah, specific. Okay, hold on. So why they are questioning his behavior? The Muslims, why they are questioning? And look what your prophet said. He said, water is not made impure by anything. Do you agree with that? It's true. Water isn't made impure by anything. Really? But the, the piss is a water. Yeah, what? but... Like like the like 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 the water itself H two O, if you look at like like the chemistry H two O, it doesn't it doesn't get damaged <laughs> by anything. My friend, what H two O? He is saying that the water always is nothing make it impure. So you are saying to me now, according to your logic, if somebody piss in your water, you have a cup of water, and somebody piss on it, you will drink it because it's a pure. This what your logic. H two O is not damaged, brother. This is your logic. If you, if no, no. If you read another hadith, uh -huh. it talks about the same thing. Uh, okay. Say, oh, here we go. We are reading here. We have dead dogs. We have garbage. We have women, women blood from period. And he, yet Muhammad saying nothing will make it impure. So if, if if you have a cup of water and somebody piss for it, piss inside it, you as a Muslim, you would drink it happily. Um. Hmm. Read this hadith with me. The people ask Allah Messenger, Messenger of Allah, can we perform a pollution? If something impure falls uh -huh. into a small amount of water, uh -huh. but it does not change any of its characteristics, such as a drop of blood mm. or a drop of urine mm. that falls into a vessel mm. in which there is water, mm. but it does not change, <laughs> yeah, but it does not change any of its characteristics, it is deemed impure because of the impurity falling into it. Hey, hold on, hold on. What okay. does it say? Okay. No, no, no. no. It, basically, if it doesn't change the characteristics, mm. then it's pure. So but now, if it does it, but but if it changes it, then it's <laughs> impure. All right. So now, women of blood from period is it going to change or not? Yeah, yeah, no, no. But this water is, is running. What, what is it running? Show me. It's a well of water, my friend. It's dirty water. It's just, if he, you see, if it's running, then there's no blood will stay. And there is no garbage will be there because it's running. I mean, are you are you insane? If it's running, it's not going to be six uh, uh, arm wide. This is the this is the size of it. If it's running, is that will make it a river, a spring of water? Like, like right now, if we if we go back to my friend, does, find, it say, does it say does it say well of water or it says a spring of water? Does it say well? It's a hole in the ground. And obviously it's a hole in the ground. Nobody uses it for drinking. That's why people throw garbage in it. Yeah. Okay. So, it, well, so what does the well do? It, it, okay. It, let me, wells let, that, no, that, that the, the, the well, the, the well, the okay. No. Underneath, it, it, it keeps flowing. Okay, hold on. You see, the guy, he measured it. The, the highest of it is not even for your private part. So it's not, it's a shallow, shallow hole in the ground. To the point you can stand there. It's not like a deep down in the in the in the ground. It is little, little tiny ground, and you can stand all the way to your private part. And your prophet is just standing there too, doing his evolution. You you you, you can't you can't assume like what was he measuring? Like <laughs> what if he was measuring like from the from the top? He, to the no, ledge? he was measuring this. That he covered it by the sheet. Do you understand what covered by sheet? It's mean. This is the surface of it. And then he said how high it is. So we get the height, we get the depth of it. That's it. The height, the height is to the private part, less than the private part. And the width of it, which means the size as a space, is he covered by the sheet. All of this have what? And look, okay, okay, okay. It, it, so, 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 if let's say assume that 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 this happened, what does that mean? That's mean your prophet is crazy. Because why do you want to do that? He live in a city. He live in a town. They have a clean water. Why in the world do you want to go and do this? Did 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 it did it did it, did it know what drink a lot of alcohol and 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 become drunk? Who? According to the Bible, he who? became drunk. Who who? Prophet Noah. So what? So. 
So then, then could you say that he's crazy? Okay, so you are saying to me, if somebody drink alcohol, he's he's crazy, correct? Becoming drunk? If somebody became a drunk, is he crazy? Or because of the alcohol, he became a drunk? Because the alcohol. Thank you. Here, Muhammad is not a drunk, so there is no reason for him to jump in the tub of the garbage. You see, if you are drunk, you might do something stupid. Thank you very much. Now, is Muhammad here is drunk? Maybe he take hashish? Are you saying your prophet that was taking hashish? We will stop for Allah. You need to tell me why in the world somebody have a clean water, he will go and jump there. You need to explain to me. Obviously, you have a mental issue. Yeah, I don't know about this. Yeah, and Noah was drunk, guys. Noah, he was drunk. Yeah. And listen, listen, let me ask you. Uh, was your prophet drunk too? What? Was your prophet drunk too? No. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. Okay, let's see if this is true or not. <sighs> Do you, what is the word uh, wine in Arabic? Uh, I think uh, no, 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 no. Um, I, I, I told you I don't not good at Arabic. Uh, is it Nabid? Um, uh, 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 khamar. Khamar. Okay, Khamar. And is it uh, what about Nabid? I don't know that word. Okay. Well, anyway, Nabid. You can go search it in, in, the, in Google. Hmm. You, they, they were making the beat for your prophet and he drink from it every day and not only that all the Muslims were were, were a drunk people isn't it the Quran says oh you believer don't get close to the prayer when you are drunk yes yeah, or no? I didn't say that he was drunk okay who was he was who, who was a drunk the people like, like the okay what kind like of the Muslims okay what kind of Muslims they go to the mosque and they are drunk and what kind of yeah, a prophet? So, so this, this, this was before the prohibition. Okay, when this uh, when this is, was came to be forbidden, is it at the end of Islam? So why Muhammad did not forbid from the beginning? Yeah, so so Allah revealed the, the Quran in the period of twenty three no. years. No, when Muhammad he got sick, he cannot drink no more. Then he forbid the wine because he cannot drink it no more. Did your prophet used to throw up anything he ate because he was dying from poison? Was he throwing up? Yeah, because he had pain. He, you know, he ate, he ate poison, and that caused him to die slowly. So he threw up anything he ate. Here we go. This is the hadith. It says, "The prophet, in his element in which he died, he used to say, Oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by oh, the yeah, food I, I ate of Khaybar.'" Okay, so Aisha, she's reporting that Muhammad died by poison. Do you know what poison do? Damage, yeah. damage his organs. Obviously, this guy is dying slowly. He 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 took the poison three years ago, yet he is still suffering and dying slowly. And this is telling us that how much Muhammad is suffering. And look what he says. I still feel as the food I ate. So I still, he used to say, this is something always he say, he's in pain. Never stop the pain. What is the pain? He ate the food went where? The first place it goes in in his stomach. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. So his stomach is damaged. Obviously, he's not observing food normally, and he's dying slowly. So you're a prophet. He did not forbid drinking wine as long as he can drink. But now he's dying. He can't drink it no more. Otherwise, why no, he's not? No, no, no. Okay. Let, okay. Let, let, let me let me let me ask you. Uh, you're a prophet. Uh, when he forbid people to go around the Kaaba naked. What? When he forbid the people to go around the Kaaba naked. Oh, I, I actually remember I was watching your 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 sh your show mm. and you were talking about that. Mm. Why he did not forbid yeah. this right away after he took over Mecca? Why he waited until he's almost dying to forbid it? He was watching, enjoying the show. So I am a prophet. I took over the town, 
and now I am the only one who controlled the town, why he did not forbid male and female from going naked around the Kaaba, and what exactly the religion they were practicing there? Um, so I, I think they were... Um, I will tell you what they are doing. Like, I think they were, they were playing hide and seek, maybe. What is the religion? What, is, what kind of religion is the religion around the Kaaba is a practice where women and men, they go naked? Do you know? I think that was the pagan, pagan people. Exactly. So how Muhammad, he is a prophet of Allah. He forbid wine. But he don't forbid people to go naked around the Kaaba? No, he did forbid it. Where? No, 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 no. He, he... Okay, this is a challenge uh, between me and you. We have a verse in the Quran about wine. We have a verse in the Quran about hijab. Can you show me a verse in the Quran about not to go naked around the Kaaba? Um... Uh... By the way, I wish to go there, by the way. I don't know if this is still happening because I would like to buy a ticket and go. I'm still single, you know? Yeah, so it says, Abu Bakr sent me along with other announcers to Minna mm. to make a public announcement. Mm. No pagan is allowed to perform Hajj after this year mm. and no naked person is allowed to perform the Tawaf around the Kaaba. This is from Sahih al-Bukhari 369. Thank you very much. So this is not, this is where at the end of Islam, this is at the end. Where was Allah all those years? Why Allah? Why Muhammad when he was in Mecca? He did not come with the verse says, Don't walk around the Kaaba naked, shame on you. Allah did not see them. He was blind. Uh, Abu, 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 don't, don't laugh at your prophet, man. Show respect. Come on. You are insulting the prophet. I'm Please. not laughing at you. I'm you are laughing, laughing at you. because I want to know what kind of God he have, a, he have, he have the time to make a verse about Suleiman walking down street. And then he heard an ant. And then the ant, she said to the other ant, hide because Suleiman will crush you, brother. So the ant, they start hiding. And then Suleiman, he was smiling. Okay. How wonderful story. Allah, he don't have time all those years to make a verse says, don't go around the Kaaba naked. Which one is more important for Allah? Going around his house naked. This is the first thing Muhammad should say. From the first day, he claimed to be a prophet. Shame on you. This is the house of God. Don't walk naked. Yeah, so okay, so why this is came at the end of Islam, not in the beginning? Yeah, yeah. If, 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 it, it's actually mentioned in Quran, Where? Uh, chapter 7, verse 28. No, it doesn't say that. Hey, we go read it for me. Read it. Where it says, and, and when they commit a fahisha, mm -hmm. <clears throat> they say, We found our father is doing it, mm -hmm. and Allah has commanded us of it. Mm. Say, nay, Allah never commands of Fahisha. Mm. Do you say of Allah what you know not? Mm. Okay, where it says, don't go around the Kaaba naked. This is the meaning. <laughs> my, my friend, uh, uh, you are making things up, your own stories. Where is the meaning? Where is the verse that says, don't go around the Kaaba? I want to see it. Fahisha can be anything. Fahisha, you know what? I'm going to go with you, and I'm going to check what this is Fahisha here mean. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain, all of them, right? Okay. Here it says that the, the those people, the women and the men, they used to go around the Kaaba naked. All right. So where Allah, he says, don't go around the Kaaba. This is interpretation of your Muslims. Nowhere in the Quran it says that. And Allah did not say, don't do that. Yeah, this is the verse. Seven no, the, ver the, no the, ver the verse you are saying to them, it says, they are they are saying, we learned that from our uh, father. Okay, where in the verse it says, don't do, go naked around the Kaaba. Can you show me the verse? Where it says that? Okay, when, and when they came at Fahisha, my they friend, say, okay, 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 you know what? what? I am going to say, what we found our father is doing what? Okay, let, let me ask you. Uh, 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 fahisha, anything is fahisha. Fahisha, worshiping uh, idols is fahisha. Adultery is fahisha. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, okay. so all of that. Okay. So where is the where is the verse says don't go around the Kaaba naked? 
No way. This is the verse. No, this is this is the, this is your you are coming in the interpretation saying to me this is about uh, don't go around the cabin. Okay, you know what? I want to go with you. I want to go with you. This is a chapter seven. When chapter seven was given to Muhammad. Uh, I, I, <laughs> let me see. Um, chapter seven was revealed mm. in um, in Mecca. Hmm. In Mecca. Okay. What number is number chapter seven? The original number. Do you know? Sorry, what? Sorry, what? What is the original number of? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chapter seven. One second. One second. Hmm. Um. Yes, yeah, Mekin. Yeah, except for one sixty-three to one seventy is from Medina. Okay. So, what is the number of numbers uh, number seven? Al Araf. No, no. I'm saying to you, this chapter, the one you are saying uh, Al Araf. Yeah, it is. What is the official number? Not the Quran today you have. What is the official number? Yeah, Muhammad, he received Quran. There's according to Revelation and there's according to the book of Uthman, correct? Yeah. So, Al-A'raf, according to the Revelation, when Muhammad, he received it? Mm, you tell me. No, I cannot tell you because this is secret. <laughs> yeah, I cannot tell you. you have, Why is yeah. this secret? You have to work for it. You need to help me here because I want to know. I want to know how this is in the world happen if Al Araf was given to Muhammad in a certain time, right? Why Al Araf? Yeah. Why Al Araf is not in the right location? Do you know? What is do it, you mean by location? Okay, I'm not sure it, what you're it, about. this is here, chapter seven. Is it? Is it? This is where Muhammad received it. It was number seven. Or this is wrong? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. So, is this verse here, is coming really part of the Araf? Uh, the, uh, Surah Al-Araf, hmm. it was given, um, <clears throat> yeah, it was number 39. Okay. So, is that verse part of really number 39 or part of number 7? You know, I don't I don't know the answer to that. Hmm. Okay, so who is the one who changed the location of this verse? And why this verse is coming in the wrong place? Because you mentioned to me that there's a hadith that uh, the prophet he sent, excuse me, to, to announce that nobody go around the Kaaba naked. Is that correct? Yeah. When when this happened exactly? Mm, you know, I think it's better if you like talk to a scholar about this. All right. Okay. I don't, okay. I don't we, have we, that much knowledge we, about okay, this. Okay. No problem. We'll skip the topic. We we'll go back to zero. Give me now. Give me. I ask you about. Uh, uh, give me a prophecy of your prophet. I cannot wait. Even the mm -hmm. the cat here is like surprised. Oh too. yeah 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 yeah. There is a there are a lot. And the first one is in the Bible in Deuteronomy eighteen eighteen. If it talks if, about if, Muhammad. If 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 Muhammad in the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, tell me what it says there. Why are you laughing? Okay, in in the book of what? <laughs> and in Deuteronomy uh, eighteen eighteen. Okay, what it says, brother? Go. Your laugh is very funny. Okay, I'm okay. What you can do? I mean, I have to laugh. What it says there? What? Tell me, tell me, tell me what okay, it says. Um, <coughs> I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brothers. Mm. I will, yeah, from among their brothers, the, the Arab. Mm. I will put my mouth. My the word Arab in are his the mouth. brothers. The Arab are and the. Pro okay, hold on. Yeah, the the Arab are the pres the brothers of uh, of the Jews. Yeah. How that happened? They have one father. Yeah, they were they were brothers. Who is their um, father? Who is yeah. their father? Who is the father the of the Jews? Jews? Who is the father of the Jews? Abraham. No. Your Quran says children of Israel. Children of Israel. It doesn't say children of Abraham. 
So their father is Israel. So to be their brother, to be you have to be from the from the from the kids of Israel. Yeah. So, so okay. So it says there from your brother. Okay, continue. This is the front number one mistake. Okay, continue. What is this? What else? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> what is it? That's it. This is this the prophecy. This is our reason to the prophet. If, what is your prophet? What is your prophet? What where, where it says? Uh, Sorry, where, what? where is speaking about your prophet? Yeah. Where, where is he speaking about your prophet there? I will raise up for them a prophet like mm. you mm. from among their uh, brothers. Mm. I will put my words in his mouth and he will tell them everything I commanded him. Mm. You see, in that chapter there, there's a the, the part of the chapter number 20 is speaking about the false prophet. Did you read that? No. Which one? Mm. In the same chapter, chapter 18. Which, which verse? This uh, verse number twenty. And this is about your prophet. No, you but see, a prophet who dares speak a message in my name that I have not commanded him to speak, hmm. or who speaks in the name of other gods. Yes, yeah. Thank you. So, Where, there is nowhere in the Bible. There is nowhere in the Bible it's mentioned the name of Allah. So here the verse yeah, is speaking you, about your if prophet. If you go to the Arabic Bible, yeah, and you, and you open, if and you open Genesis, uh -huh. it says. Allah created the okay. This is a translation. This is false translation. But in the in the real Bible, I don't care if it's false. No, this is false translation. This is, this is if, if, do, if you open, if you say. no, 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 if you open the Quran right now, you will find the name Jesus. But in the Quran, there's no Jesus, correct? Yeah, yeah, Lisa, okay. So this is false translation, my friend, because you should not translate a name, you should not make up a name. So this false translation. So now, here, you're a prophet, he came in the name of other God. Secondly, you're a prophet. He could not bring any true prophecy. I asked you about a true prophecy. You said to me he is mentioned in the Bible, but there's no proof of that. Give me a prophecy of your prophet to make him prophet. Okay. Um I there's there, there are a lot. Um like what? <coughs> so the first one would be the um the uh, so it says, Say, O Muhammad, I do not tell you that I have depositories containing the provision of Allah, nor that I know the unseen, mm. nor do I tell you that I am an angel. Mm. I only follow what is revealed to me. Mm. Um, so, uh, in the, for example, the Byzantines will rebound. Mm -hmm. Like the Byzantines have been defeated in the nearest land, but they, after their defeat, will triumph within three to, three to nine years. Mm. And then um, in the book... Mm. Uh, in the history of decline and fall of the Roman Empire by mm. Edward Gibbon, it says, at that time when this prediction is said to have been delivered, mm. no prophecy could be more distant from its accomplishment. Okay, my friend. Since the, the first 12 years of Heraclius announced mm. the approaching dissolution of the empire. Mm. I want you to read this hadith for me in the screen because I'm going to die laughing at you now. Read it. Which hadith? Here we go, on the screen. I just put it for you on the screen. I only see a cat. Oh, the, the cat is the hadith. The cat itself is the hadith. <laughs> it's coming to you. Just okay. Look, okay. You see it now? Yeah. Okay. I, it's in there. Okay. Hmm. Read it. On the day of the battle of Badr, the Romans had what? Had victory over the Persians. <laughs> read, read, read. <laughs> Read. So the believers were pleased with that. Mm. Then the following verse revealed anything that means the Romans have been defeated. So the verse came after they've been victorious. What is the prophecy? Let me tell you a prophecy, my friend. Trump, he will win election in 2016. <laughs> well, this is what you're saying to me. Muhammad, he made the verse after they've been victorious, not before. Okay. Okay, so get me something better. I mean, this is stupid. You Muslim don't read. You Muslim don't know your books. That had, that this verse revealed after they became victorious. As you see, you know, in the day of the Battle of Badr, the Roman had victory over the Persian. So the believer were pleased. With that, then the following verse was revealed. Alif, Lamim, A, F, D, C, G, O. 
The Roman being defeated and a few years victorious. I mean, this is stupid. Secondly, why the why Muhammad is pleased that the Roman is victorious, brother? I thought the Roman are kuffar. At that moment, Muhammad, <coughs> Muhammad, he was trying to make himself look like a Christian, so he was proud about the Roman. Those are my people. Later, he want to kill them because he's hypocrite. Give me. So the first one did not work. The first one, it was a fraud. The second one. Give me another. Uh, um, so um, <coughs> it says, "May the hands of Abu Lahab be ruined, mm. and ruined is he. His wealth will not avail him, mm. or that which he gained he will burn in a fire of blazing flame." Okay. So it is astonishing that for the next nine years of, of Abu Lahab's life, mm. despite hearing these verses being recited, mm. his pride still kept him from potential golden opportunity mm. to discredit the Quran. Mm. And so, so had Abu Lahab simply professed faith, even disingenuously, that could have brought into serious question the truth of this revelation. Okay. So, of course, he who revealed this knew Abu, Abu, Abu Lahab would never do so. Okay. So you are saying to me, that if Abu Lahab later became a Muslim, that means Muhammad is a fraud, correct? If he later became Muslim? Yeah, because this is about Abu Lahab, uh, Allah is, uh, is uh, saying, uh, uh, Allah, yeah. uh, okay. So guys, be my witness. If Abu Lahab became a Muslim later, that means Muhammad is a fraud. But all the Quran was made for those who don't believe in Muhammad, including Khadim, where it was fighting him. Look what it says. It says, at, uh, uh, are you going to guide the one who Allah made misguide, the one who deceived? So all the Muslims who became Muslims, Muhammad says to them, and you will never be able to guide them, the Quran in front of you. Uh, which, which verse is it? Any verse you want, how many verses you want me to show you? I have tons. I have like, a, I, I have red verses, yellow verses. What do you want? I mean, we have all over. All the Quran says. Uh, that those who will, you know, uh, if, if you try to make them believe, they will never believe. Isn't it the Quran says, the Christian and the Jews, they will never accept you unless you follow their... Uh, their uh, okay, I'm going with your logic. So if there is one a Christian accept Islam, that means Muhammad is a fraud. Because he said the Christian and the Jews will never accept you. The Quran says that don't teach them. You teach, you know, you, you you ask for forgiveness or you not, they will not accept Islam. And later, all of them accept said, Islam. You said that Abu Lahab turned became Muslim. No, no, I'm Why saying say that? no, no, no. I did not say that. I said to you, you mentioned to me Abu Lahab. Hmm? Okay. And you said that this is a prophecy. What is the prophecy okay. that Allah said? Basically, saying, he would never. Okay, so he will never become a Muslim. Thank you very much. So I say to you, so if Muhammad, he made verses about people and, and, and that they will not accept Islam and later they accept Islam, that means he's a fraud. You said yes. <laughs> Wait, you say, okay, okay, show me the verses where he said that they will never accept Islam and they accepted Islam. Okay, let us see. Uh, chapter 3, verse number 86. As an example, not not limited. <clears throat> How shall guide people who have this disbelief after they believed? This is about who? How can I know? Hmm? How can I know what? Okay, how are he, Allah is saying to him, to Muhammad, how you can guide people who disbelieve after they became believers? Okay. Hmm. This is about who? How shall God, how shall God guide people who disbelieved after they believed? They believed and bore witness that the messenger is true and that the clear signs came to them. God guides the people of the of the God. It's not okay, but those people later they became Muslims, all of them. No, this is this is talking about people who who disbelieved after they believed. Doesn't matter. He he said to him, "How you can make them believe?" Which means they will never believe. <laughs> no, 
no, no, no. This is talking about the people who believe and then disbelieve. My friend, no problem. They believe and then they disbelieve. And he's saying to him, how you can make them believe? But later they became believers. So the people who used to be Muslim, who left mm. Islam, okay. then became Muslim again? Is, it, is this verse talking about a specific person or about anyone? How shall God guide a people? Mm. Well, by the language, by anyone. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so people who, who left Islam and then after they, 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 they disbelieved, Okay. And then after okay. they believed again. This, this person who left Islam, did he become a Muslim again? Who left Islam? <laughs> uh -huh. no. Because the verse saying, are you going to guide? How shall you guide? How shall God guide a people who disbelieve after they believed? Which means Allah will yeah. not guide them. Very simple, right? I'm not, I don't understand what you're saying. Allah saying, how God... And this is funny, by the way, because he says, Kaifa I mean, Allah is talking how he said that. This is very silly. So how Allah guide people who disbelieve after they believe, correct? Yeah. Okay. Did those people who Allah is saying how he will guide them after disbelief, which means he will not guide them. Did they believe again? Did they believe again? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Read the interpretation. It's mentioned many names. And yes, they became, became believer again. And we have tons of verses in the Quran it's speaking about the Quran saying that you cannot guide those who Allah misguide. But all of them later, they became Muslims. Muhammad became victorious. And when he became victorious, uh, you know, uh, 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 people, they enter into Islam by waves. Go and read the victory chapter. Right? So this is a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because he predicted that they will not believe. Uh, Let me okay. ask you, do, uh, do Allah guide kuffar or Allah guide only Muslims? <clears throat> no, no, God guides those who believe in God. And... No, no. Do Allah guide the kuffar or he don't guide kuffar? No, he does not. Okay, guys, he, Allah, he don't die, guide the kuffar. So how Khaled al became became a believer? <laughs> he was a kafir. <laughs> Omar, he was a kafir. Abu Bakr was a kafir. I mean, this is a joke. You just say to me, Allah will not guide Abu, the kuffar. Abu Lahab didn't become Muslim. Huh? Abu Lahab didn't become Muslim. No problem. Chapter 5, verse number 67 says, Allah guide not the kuffar. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Was Abu Bakr kafir before he converted to Islam? Was Abu Bakr? Um, yeah. Okay. Was Omar kafir before he converted to Islam? Okay. Okay. But the Quran says that Allah guide not the kuffar. No, 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 no. no. Okay. The kuffar are those who, who know Islam and disbelieve. What do you mean who know Islam? It says Allah, he guide not the kuffar. Anyone is kuffar. Allah, look how many verses. Allah, he guide not the kuffar. Yeah, yeah. So like like, like people who don't know the message of Islam, mm. and then they, they can't technically be called disbelievers because they don't know what to believe in. Mm. But my friend, right? isn't it God he sent messenger for the kuffar or to the believers? Obviously to the kuffar because he want to guide yeah. them. So here it says Allah guide not. The kuffar, then believe or read it. And that is the most silly, stupid story because as you are saying, that doctor will not come to the sick. He come only to the healthy. You know, when the Jews, they asked Jesus about how he speak to those people, he said, I, I, I came to the sick. He came to the sick. So when your God okay, will not... Ask you a question? When your God, he says, that he will not guide... The disbelievers. Isn't the Quran says that the disbelievers have sickness in their heart? So they are sick. Okay. okay. So didn't he help the sick one and guide them? I mean, who is the one who needs guidance? The one is guided already or the one is not guided? <laughs> 
You see, until now, you failed to give me any prophecy. You know, I, I want to help you. According to your prophet, how the baby is made? Because it's the prophecy. Baby? Yeah, this is a prophecy from the prophet. How he, how the, <sighs> how the baby. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. The yeah. Quran talks about um, embryology. Like this, tell, tell me about it. I, I'm interested. Um, hmm. So you can go on the, the uh, scientific journal. It's called uh, NCPI, uh -huh. um, International Journal of Health Sciences. Interesting, yeah. And then you can read, you, you can read like the extract and then the, the uh, amazing the proofs. Tell me about it, please. Tell me about the Quran first, and then we can compare. According to the Quran, how the baby is made. Um. <clears throat> I can send you the article if you want to read No it. problem. You can send me as much as you want, but I want you now to tell me. You can read it for us, but now it starts with the Quran. According to the Quran, how the baby is made. <clears throat> okay, so if we get the verse out. Hmm. <clears throat> um, right here. Okay. It says, We created a man from an extract of clay. Then we made him a drop in a place of settlement, firmly mm. fixed. This is like the, the when the semen and egg uh -huh. get put together, uh -huh. they, they get fixed. Mm -hmm. And then after we made him into a drop of alaka, mm. like a leech, like it looks like a leech. Uh, mm -hmm. This is what, um, okay. like uh, if you look at early embryology, uh -huh. the 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 the, uh, the zygote actually looks like mm. uh, like a leech. And then we made the alaka into a uh a, like a chewed substance and this is actually everything hmm. about this is correct according to science okay let me ask you so what is the alaka exactly it's it's like a like a suspended thing or like a leech or like a blood clot in, in, in which language that's suspended where are you coming with this from alaka in the arabic is, language is arabic. my friend no Ar Ar alaka in the arabic language is a dead blood Read, read the screen. This is chapter 23, verse number 14. Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. What congealed blood mean? Congealed blood. Mm. Yeah, so like a, like a clot of, uh, like a, like a clot, a okay. blood clot. Does it say, like does it say blood like, blood. does it say like, a, like, or it says we made it a clot? Does it say like a clot, yeah. or it says we made it a clot? Yeah, so we made it into a, like a, Thank like a you. leech. Don't tell, don't like me, don't tell me like a leech. It doesn't say that. It says a congeal the blood. So your God confirmed that the sperm will transform into blood. Is that, according to science, accurate? Um, it, it is accurate. Oh, okay. You because said you have, you said you have a journal. You know what? I will shave my twenty foot beard if you can show me in that journal where it says that the sperm of them. Yeah, you know, you are the one who mentioned to me journal and blah blah blah. Okay, can you show me in that journal where it says that the sperm transform into dead blood, and the okay. and that and the dead blood became a lump, and then the lump became bones. Show me where that it says. I want you to read for us. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I trust you. I trust you. Don't give me a link. I don't open links. Just, uh, just read heart, for us. Just read the for heart us. Begins to sorry what? Read for us where it says that a sperm. This is the stages. We have a sperm. We made the sperm into, which means the transform is yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where in the journal yeah. it says that the sperm became a a, a, a clot of a blood. Yeah. Mm. So this, like the meaning, what you're saying is mm. a blood clot. Mm. We find that the external appearance of the embryo mm. and its sacs during the alaka stage is similar to that of a blood clot. My friend, so my friend, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 where in that journal, this is the beginning. The beginning is what? The beginning is a sperm. Number one stage is a sperm. Number two, the sperm itself became a congealed blood. The sperm. The sperm into... Mm. The sperm, okay. Uh, let, me ask you, let me ask you, I, I will, you are very uh, educated, not like me. Is, is, a sperm, is a sperm of the man or the woman? 
the sperm of the man. Okay, so according to the journal, the sperm of the man became the baby, and this is the stage. Sperm, then a congealed blood, then a lump, then the lump become bones. This is your God explanation for science? Uh, so everything there is correct. Uh, so How is sperm, that? There is nowhere nobody in the science say that a sperm became a baby. Sperm go to the woman and fertilize the egg and that's it. And that, this is his duty. He gave the DNA and fertilize and then the sperm will not be, they will not grow, will not transform to be the baby. This is stupid. The one who will be the baby is the, is, is the egg. The egg will start splitting cells and grow. And then will, the, 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 this growth will start giving, like let us say, uh, uh, in an in a, in a, in a amazing way, the, the organs uh, start to grow in, you know, in stages. But here in the Quran, it's very simple explanation. The sperm became a blood and the blood became a lump. So in the journal you have, does it say that number one is a sperm? Then number two, the sperm became dead blood. Does it say that? Well, in the Quran, uh, it says that... Um, well, if, if you're trying to look for the word of like, then it, it, it's not there. But well, when, it, when, it, when it talks about congealed blood, it's talking about it resembles. Ah, resembles, resembles, okay. My friend, it doesn't say what you are saying. You are making things up. Trying to cover off a problem. The, the sperm became a blood. Okay, you know what? What, what do you think? Who understands the Quran better, you or your prophet? Um, the prophet. Are you sure the prophet? I think the Quran, I think you understand better, man. Are you sure? You uh, are you sure the prophet he knew better than you about the Quran, not you? Uh, of course. Oh, okay, of course. Okay, thank that. That's good to know. All right, let us see what your prophet said. Your prophet he explained to us how the baby is created. I want to ask you, how long the sperm of a man can live? How long? Yeah. Um, like if you. Like people can put their sperm in like in like these. No, no, no. I'm talking um, about the sperm go inside the women for how long can live. Don't tell me you put it in the refrigerator. Um, for how long? Um, um, so it says. around um, five days five days thank you very much look what your prophet said and as you as, as you said you you agreed that your prophet knows best right yeah <laughs> all right so you are you are in the stage of a semen in the mother womb for 40 night read it this is your prophet saying that this is how the stage is you are in a form of a semen in your mother womb for 40 nights of vacation, this is like a cruise ship full of corona. And then after that, after the 40 days, you will become blood. And after 40 days, read, read, read you know, I don't, I, I will, you know what? Your English is better than mine. I want you to read for me. Go ahead. Um, the creation of any one of you is a lot like this. That semen is collected in the womb of your mother for 40 nights. Read this hadith. I just switched the hadith. This is longer. This is giving us more details. Read it for us. Uh, I only see that one. Okay, it's going to come to you now. Let me say my magic word. Shaksha, shaksha, shakuha. Okay, it's going to go now. You will see it. You see it now? Uh, yeah, it's the messenger of Allah. Hmm. He's divine. He, and he, he, it's the truthful, the beloved, uh, the believed, uh, narrated to us. Verily, the creation of each one of you is brought together in his mother's womb for 40 days in the form of a notfa. Which means a sperm. Notfa means sperm, correct? Not fly. Oh yeah, I googled this. Okay. It could it, it could mean um, the, the 
the joining together of sperm no and problem. egg. No Okay, no problem. So you are 40 days now in a sperm, in a, in a, no, in, because in different places it says it clearly it is a sperm. But anyway, so now you are in Utfa as for 40 days. And then you are a clot of a blood. This Does it say clot of a blood? For the same period, 40 days. And then you are yeah. a mudra, which means a flesh, a piece of a flesh. For the same period, that's it, the baby is finished. The total is 120 days. 40 days, you are a sperm. Then 40 days, you are a blood. And then 40 days, you are a flesh. Bingo. Yeah, this is all correct. What? This is all correct. How is that? The baby is 40 days blood. Okay. The, the, okay, let me ask you. The first day, the first 40 days of the baby, he's a blood? He's a sperm? He's the zygote. He's what? The, the zygote. What the zygote? It says a drop of a sperm, a drop, a drop of a sperm, not far. So for the first day, 40 days, you are a sperm. Do you agree with that? And then the second stage, the sperm will become blood. Do you agree with that? Well, like, why don't you like call a doctor and like ask him these questions? Aren't you a doctor? I thought you know you you are talking about the doctor Muhammad now. This is doctor Muhammad. We are talking to my friend. Are you insulting? <laughs> this is doctor Muhammad. Hello, come on, please show respect, okay. my friend. This this is doctor Muhammad himself talking. This there is no way you know your uh, doctor Muhammad will say something not true. I mean, this is a there is no way. I mean, brother, come on, this is not uh, true, right? So. Uh, uh, 40 days in uh, read with me here uh when 40 days read, read hold on let me let me show you here <clears throat> when 42 nights pass after semen get into the wombs <laughs> allah sent his, his angel <laughs> to give him his shape <laughs> Unbelievable! This is a pure science, Abu Hassan, Abu Hussein, man. This is so, this is so good to be true. This is so beautiful. So you are forty days as a sperm, and then now Allah he decides to work. <laughs> okay, let us see different hadith. I'm just showing you what your prophet, because the prophet is explaining those the Quran. Read with me. Uh, it says here. The creation of everyone start in uh, uh, with this process of collecting material of his body uh, uh, within 40 days and 40 nights in the womb of his mother then he became a clot this is the first 40 days remember this is a sperm the first the second 40 days you are just a clot of a thick blood <laughs> you know Abu Hassan my you know my mother she told me you know since you were thick thick, uh, thick blood you were thick <laughs> Unbelievable, true story, unbelievable. Okay, and for a similar period of time, 40 days, then he became like a piece of a flesh, 40 days. And then Allah, he sent the angels to write his destiny. That's it, the baby is done. 40 days of sperm, 40 days a piece of blood, thick blood, and 40 days a piece of meat. Bingo, we have Abu Hassan now. That is science? That is science, okay, my so friend. I think, I think, so after this 120-day period, and the, the baby starts start to grow. No, he says he's finished now because he's writing his life. Oh, that's it. It's done. <laughs> My friend, don't you see? Don't you see? Don't you read? That's it. Then Allah, he sent the angel and he even he decide. And according to your prophet, the last thing Allah, he decide is it male or female. The angel asked Allah. Is it going to be male or female? According to science, the first thing happened is decided already is the male or female because the sperm decide the gender of the baby. That's it. So mm -hmm. what, what your prophet is talking about, obviously your prophet is a false prophet. Okay, let me ask you, are you married? I'm not. Don't get married, man. Women these, days, women these days are scary. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I heard that women, they have, I don't know what to say to you, they have testicles in their chest. What do you mean? Well, isn't it the Quran said that Allah, 
he created the baby from the sperm of the man from the backbone and the sperm of the woman from the chest location which is specific location of the necklace does the Quran say that or no? I don't know. Okay. This is a chapter 86, verse number 7. Do you have interpretation for it? For which one? Chapter 86, verse number 7. Chapter 86, verse 7. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's showing from between the backbone and the breastbone. Hmm. So what do you think? What does this mean? <laughs> yeah so that's actually that's actually true if you look at the embryo uh -huh. um where, like where the sperm emerges it is it, it does come from between the backbone and the breastbone mean the embryo the embryo is the sperm now I, I didn't, I, I didn't no, 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 no. Okay. So, like, like the place where the sperm comes out, it, it, it if you look at the human body, mm -hmm. um, if you look at these, like, the, like the spine, mm -hmm. and then the backbone, and then the breastbone, mm -hmm. it, the sperm actually comes from between them. Yeah, but this verse is not talking about one person; I'm talking about two. It's talking about the man and the woman. You know what? Uh, what interpretation you like me to show you for this verse? Whatever you say, I'm going to accept. No problem. Of which interpretation? Yeah, to understand this verse, so I will. You know, we will not be fair. I don't want to like uh, name my own. Give me interpretation. Says okay, whatever he says, we accept. We go with it. Uh, Zachary Knight. Zachary Knight. Now have interpretation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Since when Zachary Knight have interpretation? <laughs> what happened to Ibn Kathir? Well, you sold him. You love him so much, so uh, you can go stuck in. No, I'm asking you seriously. Which book you want me to show you interpretation for it? Yeah, why not? In Zakir Naik. There's no something called Zakir Naik. I was Zakir Naik. Anyway, come on. Give me a book of a scholar you accept, please. Um, Atabari. Atabari. Okay, Atabari. Guys, he said Atabari, but we don't have Tabari in, our, in English. Do you know Arabic? He said no. There's no. Do you, yeah. do, you, do you have a tabari in English? We have to show you in English. What about Ibn Kathir? Is that okay, Ibn Kathir? Okay, but like... Okay, let us see Ibn Kathir. Chapter 86, verse number 7. Let us see. Hmm. This is the official website. Okay. Can I just ask why you love Zakir Naik so much? You know, he is really smart, super smart. He is most, actually, he is the most smart Muslim ever I met. I mean, I admit, you know, uh, we speak many languages. I don't understand any of them. Uh, let us read what Ibn Kathir is saying. I want you to read carefully with me. This is Ibn Kathir. Read, go ahead. <coughs> Let's read from here. <coughs> Is it coming to you? Yeah. Okay. Read for me. <coughs> yeah, so it says, um, He is created from a water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes out, um, bursting forth from the man and the woman. Hmm. Thus, the child is produced from one, from both of them, by the permission of Allah. Okay. Due to this, Allah says, yeah. Hmm. Okay. okay. Now we continue reading. It says here, continue that second part. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone or loins of, I can't read it. Come on, you can. No, no, it, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, on the screen. Well, what about now? It's not the screen still? <clears throat> Because your name, your name is covering it. 
No, I move it. Already I move it up. So you should have it. Oh, quick. there you go. So the backbone of the Lord is <laughs> at the man and the ribs of the woman. Hmm. Referring to her chest. Hmm. So, okay. So the sperm is a sperm of the man coming from the backbone. And women have a sperm coming from her chest. Do you agree with that? Okay. Yeah, this is only like an interpretation. This is not like... Okay. So this is interpretation. Yeah. Um, Mm. Like if you show me, like if you show me a hadith that says that this is talking about the woman. Mm. All right. Let us see. Do you know, like, if a if a man have orgasm first, or a woman have orgasm first, is that going to affect the gender of the baby? An organ, and like, you know, what do you mean by orgasm? Orgasm, orgasm. You don't know what orgasm? Pepsi Cola, you know? Orgasm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, orgasm. If a, if a man have orgasm first or the women have orgasm first, is that going to decide the gender of the baby and how the baby look like? Uh, no. Okay. Well, how you explain to me your prophet? Here we go. This is the hadith. Explain bin as wa taraib The prophet said, the message of Allah said, the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow. Which of them comes first, the child resembles the parent? And you said no. Everybody heard you. So you just got your prophet busted. So your prophet saying that there's a water come from the woman, coming from her chest, and that is yellow. So Muhammad, he think women have a sperm, and that is a water she see in her private part. And the man have a sperm, and that he, she, you know, what is thick and, and white. And whichever of them comes first, the baby resembles the parent, which means male or female. What do you think about this disaster? The man's water is thick and white, and the woman's water is thin and yellow. Whichever <laughs> then comes first, the child will resemble that parent. Okay, so what's wrong with this? A, a second ago, I ask you, if the if the person have orgasm first, is that going to affect the gender of the baby or the, the look? You said no. You remember? A second ago. You're a prophet saying exactly yeah. what we ask you. Right. I ask you. This is right. No, no, no. What do you mean right? You said no. You said wrong. You said no. You said I asked it to you. If if somebody, if a man have orgasm first or the women have orgasm first, is that going to affect the look or the gender of the baby? You said no. What does it mean by coming first? Like coming, coming first, first, coming exactly. first. Have an orgasm first. You don't know. Come on, come on. Now you, you are play, like you're supposed to. You are. Uh, you, you didn't know what orgasm mean. Let me explain to you what orgasm means. Okay, now you are like you are walking down the street, okay, and then there's a there's an apple tree, and then the apple tree, one apple fell in your head. You walk up, you find yourself having orgasm. I mean, how in the world you are a man you do not know come first me? This guy wanna conf he wanna he wanna convince me that he do not know what comes first me. And I believe it, yeah. Okay. Um, this is so sad. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It, this is like Sahih Hadith? No, this is not Sahih. This is Da'if. So what? If it's Da'if, okay. it's a problem now? If it's Da'if, then you can't trust it. Okay, what if it's Sahih? Can we trust it? Hmm. Well, it, is this Sahih? It, it, we, we can make it Sahih for you. Here we go. I use my magic. It's Sahih. Here we go. It became Sahih. It was Da'if a second ago. You know, up to the request. What do you want? You want make it Da'if? We make it Da'if. You see, this Hadith ha ha have orgasm now. It became Sahih. Before it was without orgasm, it's not Sahih. So where is where is the knowledge and where is the prophet? This is not a prophet. This is a false prophet. He is he is saying that the sperm of the man coming from the ribs, from the from the backbone, which is false. Look like look like your prophet. He he never heard of something called testicles. Your prophet he think testicles is decoration. Maybe they are like a Christmas tree light. Do your prophet know what testicles is about? How in the world he think that the sperm is coming from the backbone? What is the testicles for? They are decoration. They are the men. They carry them just like for uh, for balance. To show off. 
Uh, that is why they say you have a big balls. Uh -huh. I thought they have a job, but look like it just like to prove that he is an ox. What yeah, kind of what kind of religion? Wrong. This is wrong, right? Thank you very much, Abu. Abu See, Abu Hussein, he just said this is wrong. So how he can be a prophet making a prophecy? Supposed he is saying something nobody knows. Man's water is thick and white, and the woman's water is thin and yellow. The children then comes first. The child will resemble that parent. Hmm. So yeah, uh, that, that's wrong. That's wrong. Thank you very much. Here we go. He's an honest man. So oh, this is false prophet. You just you just said Muhammad is wrong. What do you want more? You left Islam, my friend. Yeah, because like I don't like if it's wrong that I don't know like mm -hmm. if uh, uh. Yeah, okay, come on, easy in the keyboard. Otherwise, the keyboard will have orgasm from his chest. What do you mean you don't know? You are smart. Come on, yeah. this is a, uh, this is not a prophet. You know, do you know the story when a guy he came to your prophet and he said to him, "I will ask you three questions. Nobody know the answer for them." Do you know the hadith? Sorry, what? There's a guy he came to your prophet and he told him, "I'm going to ask you a question. Nobody know the answer for them except a prophet of God." Do you know the story? No. Okay, let me show you. A guy he came to the prophet. His name is Abdullah ibn Salam. And he said to the Prophet, I will ask you about three things which nobody, nobody knows unless he's a Prophet. Do you see the hadith on the screen? Uh, not yet. Okay, let me use my magic. Oh, there we, there okay, go. see, I my magic myself. working. Okay, he said to him, firstly, you see when a Muslim say, firstly, it means a disaster is coming. Firstly, what is the first portent of the hour? Uh, uh, what is the first meal of the people in the paradise and what make a baby look like its father or mother oh here we go let us go and cut the cheese to not to waste our time Muhammad he said uh, just now just now Jibreel has informed me so you see Allah is telling Muhammad this information came from Allah Jibreel himself he said okay what he told you he said uh Regarding the baby, and if the man discharge proceed that of the women, then the baby will resemble the father. And if the women discharge, they proceed the man, then the child resemble the mother. <laughs> and who told him that? To breathe. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> You know what it's uh, uh, Jibreel, the god of the watermelon. What is that? Uh, uh, what, what do you think you were saying? Mm. This is Jibreel told him that. And if the man starts putting down a woman, <clears> then <throat> the child resembles the father. <laughs> yeah, no, that's in the woman the starch proceeded out of the man, and the child resembles the mother. Wait, which hadith is this? This is the hadith. Like, like, what, what's the number of the hadith? Number of the hadith, da'if, two da'if, three da'if, four da'if, five, seven da'if. <laughs> what is it? Uh, you know, it's okay. So what do you think now? And look, the guy, he converted to Islam. He said, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. After hearing this, Abdullah, he said, I testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and you are truly a messenger of Allah. <laughs> and look how stupid the story. The guy he told them in the beginning, I will ask you questions. Nobody knows the answer for them except a prophet. But yet he knew the answer for them, which means a prophet too. Do you see? It says, I will ask you, Abu Hussein, read with me. I will ask you about the three things. 
which nobody knows unless he is he be a prophet does it say that unless he be a prophet okay now the guy agree with the prophet that this is the correct answer that means he's a prophet too <clears throat> what do you mean he's a prophet too well if I say to you this information nobody knows unless he is a prophet from God and I know it already I know the answer for it that's me I'm a prophet too the one is asking that answer? okay the one is asking the question he is saying the answer for this nobody knows the true answer unless he's a prophet correct yeah. But he knew the answer because he agreed with it. So now we have two prophets. We have Muhammad the prophet and Abdullah ibn Salam prophet. <laughs> and this is Sahih al-Bukhari, my friend. This is very Sahih. And this is Hadith number, book number 60, Hadith number 7. <coughs> mm, yeah. Number I, seven. Like, can you, like, can you, like, prove this from, like, the Quran, like, like not the hadith my friend i just showed you you give me your own interpretation so i showed you ibn kathir for the quran it says a sulbi wa taraib a taraib in arabic is a, a a bone of the women in her look the location of the necklace specifically so there's no way to mix it is a taraib of the women it is the backbone of the man and this is the most stupid statement ever and isn't it enough that your prophet coming coming to say to us the women water is, is is thin and yellow and the man water is thick and white so he compared the 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 the, the, the sperm of the man to the yellow liquid the women she see in her private part when she's having sex that is a stupid so your prophet he think that water make the baby and that water make the baby so the ba the water of the man and the water of the women they mix together and the water of the man is thick and, and white, and the water of the women is uh, 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 yellow and uh, and thin, and that make the baby. Mm, I see. Yeah, because if that's the case, then that's wrong. Okay. So are we out of Islam or not yet? I think I still have to do a bit more research. Well, we are doing research. I'm going to stay with you until coming week. I'm not going to go to sleep for the coming five days, no problem. <laughs> yeah, no, I, go. I mean, what, uh, you are trying just to get an excuse, I was, and you are trying to get us to escape the, uh, you know, saying I am out of Islam. I'm not going to let you go. Give me, give me your hand. Let me, let me, let me handcuff you before you leave. You know, yeah, because you, know, you might escape. Uh, come on, be honest. What is, what is missing? I did not prove to you to be wrong. Be honest with me. Can you show me this from, from the Quran? Proof from the Quran, I just showed you. This is from the Quran. The Quran says that the sperm became a congealed blood. That is stupid. The Quran says that the blood became became a, 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 a flesh. That's stupid. Uh, uh, the Quran says uh, that a sperm coming from the man, uh, backbone, and the ribs of the women. That's stupid. Okay, hold on. Let me show you uh, something, something very easy. Do you know what hail is? Hail? Hail, yeah. Yeah, like the ice like coming the from the sky, frozen, frozen, frozen rain. Water. Okay, where, wh wh how this happened? You know? <clears throat> uh, I don't know actually. Hmm. If I show you that Allah, He said, that Allah He sent hail from mountains in heaven, is that is enough proof for you that Allah is a fraud? Hail. Yeah. From heaven. Yeah. Uh, you, you you can technically say that like the like the like uh, outer space, not outer space, but like the sky. No, no, no. Is, see, like, uh, Abu, 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 listen carefully. The Quran says specifically that Allah He sent hail from mountains in heaven. As simple as that. His mountains. And from those mountains, Allah He sent there, which means He break hills from those mountains, He sent it to us. 
Isn't it this is yeah. enough to prove to you that uh, the Quran is a fraud? It's not from the sky, not, not some of clouds where it is. It's no, the real. translation is false. This is false translation. You see here, this says cloud, it's not exist. This says sky, mountain, masses of cloud, it's not exist. This is a lie. It doesn't say cloud, it doesn't say anything. Cloud is only in the beginning. And then he continue, and he sent down from the sky, from mountains, we're in here. If we change the translation, let me show you. This is Yusuf Ali translation. I will change the translator, and you will see how the translation change. Let us see this guy, Hilali and Khan. What they will say. Hmm. And he sent down from the sky, hail between two brackets like mountains. It doesn't say that. Or uh, or there are heaven mountains of hail. <laughs> Where he sent down hail <laughs> and he strike with it. <laughs> oh boy. So they are trying to cover it. They say there's two options, but the fact it doesn't say that. The Quran said the second part. He sent hail from mountains and he strike with it the one who we don't like. How this is can be from God. You know what? Let us see if this is what it's meant. Uh, I'm going to go to the interpretation. Chapter 24, verse number 43. 24. 43. And right away you will see in a second that when they translate the Quran, they are trying to cover the scam. Read carefully with me, my friend. This is a Jalalain. It says, and he sent down from heaven out of the mountains. Do you see it? Out of the mountains. Hmm. How that can be from God? Mm. I mean, this is simple. You do not need to be genius to know that this, well, is, a, this is false. So, okay, okay, so when it says um, breaking up the, like the, breaking up the, um, you're saying mountains, um, that's actually like a metaphor for evaporation. My friend, there's no metaphor. It says, you see, we don't want to lie to each other here. It says, he sent down from mountains, not like mountains. He did not say the same as if it's mountains. I mean, the Arabic is so clear. And this is the accurate translation. He sent down from the heaven out of mountains. Men jibar, okay. men extra Can I ask that you are... question from the Bible? But if, why do you want to change the topic now? This is about Genesis 1. Why do you want to change the topic? Okay, ask me about Genesis 1. What about it? But you promised me when I go back here? Yeah, yeah. I okay, okay. What that question? Go ahead. So, like in Genesis one, <clears throat> it said, in in verse three, it said, and and God said, let there be light, and there was light, mm. and God saw that the light was good. Mm. So does that mean God didn't know before that the light was good? No, good for us. You know, this is you see the the book of Genesis is not telling us everything God He do. Otherwise, if if God wanna tell us how He created the eye, we need to have maybe a hundred book. You know, when a doctor, he study the eye. How many books he study? Tons of books. Just for a little tiny eye. So we are talking about the creation of the universe in a simple way. So people, they might understand that everything is created by God. So God, he created light. And he saw light is good for us. So light is good for what? Good yeah, for so, us. So, so he didn't know before. That no, no, this is not about. Us. No, you see, this is introduction. How, why God? He decided that the light is good. He saw that the light is good. So it's, yeah, he saw. It, it, that means before he didn't know. No, okay. I will. I will go with you. God did not know that the light is good. So how he knew it's light? How he knew that there's he something? Saw the light. No, no. You see, when he said let be light, it's mean God. He knew what light is. Otherwise, he would not say let be light. Yeah, yeah and then after okay. he saw that it was good. No. After he, already he knew what is light, for he is the light of the world. That's what the Bible says too. So when God, he says, let be a light, he knew already what light is. Otherwise, how you can create something, you do not know what it is. It's like saying to me, 
I'm going to create a car, but I do not know what car. That would be silly, isn't it? So when he saw the light, it was good. Then he spread the light out, which means the, the which means the light now is perfected for us. It's ready for use, and that is the second stage. Then he spread the light from uh, separated the light from darkness. So here is not about God. He saw and he found out. This is about God. He's you know now the light is good for to go for the second stage, and then we will go to second stage and we separate yeah. from darkness and light and and but, darkness and light. But it talks about trees being like being uh created before the sun so i don't understand okay. how the trees can okay i will go i will go with i will go with you the light is exists already correct which light the first thing he said let be light yeah but okay. which light is that it doesn't matter there's a light what what the trees need what the trees need need light correct the sunlight, sunlight. No, no, not necessarily. As long as uh, God, he created light, there is light. So already he spread between darkness <coughs> and, and and light. So light is exist. So the source of light is exist. How it works, this is the beginning of the creation. We do not know. Secondly, if you are saying how the trees are created before the light, let me show you something. And I want you to be consistent. Do you see the screen? Uh, I, I, it's stuck at that uh, the, the test here. Yeah, hold on. Let me change it. For some reason, the website is stuck too. Let me see what's happening here. I hope I'm not losing my internet. Oh, where are you from? You see, um, well, I will tell you my story now, but this is a very sad story. This is between me and you. Is that okay? Okay. Well, my dad, he was hijacking an airplane. And my mom was with him, you know. She was, like, carrying me. Uh, it was, like, the month number 14. So, anyway, uh, he, he tried to, la to land in, uh, uh, in Switzerland. They did not give him refugee uh, because he is uh, from Al-Qaeda. Uh, so the, he flied all the way to the Trade Center and they hit the Trade Center and I was born there. So that you can say like I'm from the Trade Center. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know what happened to this uh, website. It's not opening. I think they are doing maintenance to it. Let us see the other one. Yeah, it looked like the Hadith website is, is not functioning. Because you're a prophet, he said. That Allah He created the sun in Wednesday, and He created. Uh, uh, you know what? Why want I even open the Hadith? Let us go to the Quran. Just wait. You see, because I'm trying to sh to see how consistent you are. Because if you have a, a problem with the sun created at the at, at, at the fourth day, what the Quran says that the sun created at the end, in one of the chapters of the Quran. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what happened to my browser. I hope it's not nothing wrong. Let us see. Nothing is functioning. Okay, let us see. No, it's not working. What happened? Let us try a different website. Mm. Look like those they are doing maintenance in that website. And Which website? The Quran and uh, Quran that wall. Wow.com. Yeah, for some reason. Yeah, I, I I could open it. You can. Yeah. Okay. Let me try a different browser.
it keeps saying to me searching and it's not helping the thing <clears throat> i can i can put it up which verse are you talking about hold on let me see because i want to show it anyway i will open uh, search truth All right. Yeah, this website is working here. Let us see. You're either from Egypt or Iraq. Well, I don't know. I mean, see, because I told you, like my Jackie, my my father, he was like all over the place. You know, he, <laughs> he my cousin Osama bin Laden. You know, he's hey, by the way, he said hello for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Osama bin Laden is still living in the White House. No, actually, he is now. He said to you from the fish tank. Uh, I have no idea what is happening. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, look, I maybe I have to find, I, I think I have a problem with my internet. But anyway, if I find it, it's okay. open. Okay. Can you open for me? Uh, I, will, I will show it to you on the screen. Finally, the, the uh, search.com is opening, not the uh, Quran. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if we go uh, read chapter number 41, and I will put in the screen for you, I will show a translation. All right. Okay, verse number uh, 11. It says here that Allah, after He created the earth, and He finished the earth, and He finished everything in four days, and He make everything in four days, including the grass, the water, everything. Then more, and after that, not moreover, He went to the sky, and the sky was a smoke, which means was nothing. And then after that, He completed them, and He made them seven firms in two days. And after that, he created the stars. According to you, you are saying, how God created the sun in the fourth day in the Bible. According to the Quran, Allah created the sun at the end. The last thing. Uh, where, where does it say that the sun was created the last day? So read it from, this is chapter 41. Read from verse number 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, you will see it. So do you reject the one who created the earth in two days? Are you attribute equal? Are you, and you attribute equals to him? Hmm. That is the Lord of the universe. He placed stabilizers over it and blessed it and planned its provisions in four days, equally to the seekers. Then he turned to the sky, and it was smoke, and said to it, and said to it, and to the earth, come willingly or unwillingly. Then, uh, then said, we come willingly. So he completed them as seven universes. In two days, mm. and he assigned to each universe its, its, its laws, and he decorated the lower universe with lamps mm. and for protection. Okay. That is the sign of the Almighty. Okay, so the first, uh, okay, the, the last thing it was the light, the stars, the last thing in Allah creation. Okay, well, you are saying how how there was a trees without star without a light, and the Bible say that there were there were plants. The verse, here we go, read with me, my friend. In verse number 10, it says, He set earth, mountains, standing firm, high above it, and bestowed blessing in the earth, and measure all things, giving the measurement. Do you see measurement? Uh, mara'aha. You know what mara'aha mean? Mara'aha mara is the grass for the animals. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The greener, so, so now we have a trees, we have a greenery, we have a, we have a grass, we have water, and then Allah, He starts walking in the sky. <laughs> Yes. Hmm. Uh, so in the Bible in the Bible it says that God from the beginning he created light so we have light already so the the, the, the universe not without light there's light but the the star which is we know as a Sun today is created in the fourth day 
which means already there is light. In the Quran, there was nothing. The last thing Allah he created, it was the stars. <clears throat> Wait, um, it says, uh, <coughs> oh yeah, okay. Hmm. So this he is a big problem. stabilizers over it and blessed it and plant its... Wait, it doesn't say uh, plants. No, my friend, it says, وَأَخْرَجَ مَرَعَاهَا Al-mara'a is the food of the animals, the grass, the trees. Mara'aha. So it says that. You can read the interpretation, any interpretation you want. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, let us see, let us see if, the, if the website... It's this website, you see, I was trying to open it. Look, it says the connection has time out. I was trying to open it, but it wasn't working. Here we go. Now it's opening. Let us see. <clears throat> Look what your prophet he said. And I'm sure you heard this from the Muslim saying to you, the Bible says that uh, God created the sun and the four day how that can be. This is wrong. But look, in a second, you will see the Muslim, they will still accept, uh, you know, because their prophet, he was copying from the Jews. Look what it says here. This is your prophet talking, not me. Allah, the exalted, the greatest, created the clay in Saturday, created the mountain in Sunday, created the trees in Monday, and he created the, the entire labor in Tuesday, and he created the light in what? Do you see it? Wednesday. Oh, uh, where is this from? This is Sahih Muslim. <coughs> oh, there we go. Go, go. It says Thursday. Hmm? The light in Wednesday. It says Thursday. The light in Wednesday. He created the light in Wednesday. The hadith on top of it, it said Thursday. Where? It's the same hadith. It's exactly the same hadith. Scroll, scroll up. No, no. It says the same. He created the light on Wednesday. He spread the animals and all kind of in Thursday. So light is in Wednesday. You see it? Before that, there is no light. In the Bible, there is light from the beginning, before all those things are created. In the, in, according to Muhammad, light was only in Wednesday. <clears throat> mm, yeah. hmm. And that is additional proof that Muhammad is a false and a fraud. Because here, not only he is contradicting himself, he is lying. For if you count the words here, you will find that the total number of the creation is seven days, not six days. The Quran says, Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Read with me. Yeah. Saturday, this is number one. Sunday, two. Monday, three. Tuesday, four. Wednesday, five. Thursday, six. Friday, seven. But the Quran says Allah created the earth and heaven in seven days. Adam is not the heavens and the earth. No, my friend, you see, he created, uh, this is the creation, doesn't matter. The, this is the creation because the Quran says Allah created what is in heaven and earth in six days, not only the earth. Does it say that or it says that he created it in the, the heavens and the earth in six days? Exactly, which means whatever between them is in six days. Adam is, is I think I think it's talking about like the like like the actual mass itself like the no, earth no, itself no the earth and the heaven whatever between whatever is inside them is created in six days and oh. and then you know when he say uh, 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 the order is wrong too like you know I just showed you in chapter number 41 that the last thing Allah created was the stars correct and you agreed correct <laughs> yeah okay but if you go to different verses in the Quran, you will see that the stars are created in the beginning. Totally the opposite. Mm. If you go here, chapter 79, as an example, verse number, you can read it from, uh, uh, let can, us see. Can, can I ask you about Christianity? No problem, but why you don't leave Islam first and then you can ask me. Here we go. I mean, look, look at this. Chapter 79, it says that Allah created the earth. <coughs> And then he raised, uh, sorry, he created the sky first. This is number one. This is 79. Then he raised the sky. Then he made the day and the night, which means there's the stars. And then after that, he made the earth flat. And then after that, he made the grass. But in the other, in the chapter 41, is the opposite. In chapter 41, it was, was totally the different direction. 
it was the grass first it was the mount it was the earth and then the mountains and then the grass and then the stars here it is the when, sky when, when it says and then it doesn't mean like by time no my friend it's me it say not only and then it says and after that not only then Arabic is so clear and after that. that yeah so after that mean after that come on right so this is in order so and after that he did this and this and that so it's obvious that this is a total contradiction. Chapter 41 saying the opposite. Allah, he finished the earth, then the mountains, then the grass, the trees, then the light. Here, the opposite. Here, the sky. He made the light. After that, he started working in the earth. And after that, he made the grass and the water. And after that, he put the mountains. Totally, 100% the opposite. Mm -hmm. So how this can be from God? God don't remember which one he created first? He's confused? One chapter he says something, in the other chapter he said the opposite? <coughs> like the Bible also has like so many contradictions. No, 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 you see... <coughs> This is contradiction for the ignorant with my respect to you my friend but look what you just said you just said also in the bible this contradiction which means you just admitted that the quran is full of contradiction correct like like how many women went to the after how yeah how many women went to the cave to see jesus was it like two three four my, my, my friend that will not change anything and that is not a corruption and that's not a, not a contradiction because everyone he report in the story what is he believe it's important secondly if i wrote a story about jesus which is what happened and uh, and and the other disciple will write the same story there's no point to write it exactly the same so we have to cover what is what is not mentioned so you think this is this is different information the fact it's not this is why there's four people describing more additional information because if the four they will write exactly word by word then why we need four uh, do you understand what i'm saying mm. if all of them they will write exactly so, word by word then there is no need for having four books one is enough so each one of them is giving us a, 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 a additional information to 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 let us say uh, to cover more of the story so four writers four reporters and every one of them is inspired to cover what is need to be covered. So there's no contradiction. And that is the most silly statement ever. You can say that this is a contradiction. <clears throat> so like, imagine, so like, I, imagine, have, imagine, Abu, I have four like, books. Do you have uh, the listen, original listen. Bible? Sure, sure we have. We have thousands of manuscripts, thousands. You Muslim don't have anything. Well, yeah, 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 but like, but if you look at what your scholars say, they say the majority of those thousands mm. they're from like very early on, like so very at, like after like hundreds of years. No, my friend, we have we have even older than the manuscript. We have the the mosaic. We have the the the, uh, the historian. We have all kinds. Actually, there's no book in the whole world. You see, there's a there's a guy who is anti anti Christianity. He hated Christianity. He said that there is no book is more valid and documented more than the Bible. Yet he's against Christianity. But he admitted that there's no book in the world have enough reference and proofs as much as the Bible. Yet he hate the Bible. So you cannot go in that direction. Now, before we go and switch for Christianity, you can ask me as much as you want. But why we don't say you just admitted that this is contradiction, this is false? Why you don't say I'm out of Islam? <clears throat> it's like very, like, 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 very hard to say it. Why not? Why not? It's very hard to say it. What does that mean? I mean, what 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 is it? Uh, you know, uh, you are a, you are a human being. You have a brain, and you are using your brain. It's hard to use your brain. <clears throat> it's like what if this is a test from Allah? Well, what Allah? Look at this Allah. This Allah is an idiot. Don't you see? Test from Allah. I spank Allah every day. People are dying laughing at him. He's a joker. 
How does God can be God? He, he think. I mean, after all of this, you say this to from Allah. Isn't it the Quran yeah. says? Is, isn't it the Quran says? If this not, is book from not Allah, from not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. Yeah. Okay, that's it. He just got you. He, he got himself busted. Allah Himself saying, "If this book is not from Allah, then you will find a lot of contradictions, and we found many." أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ Don't they? Consider the Quran. If this is a book not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. You know, contradiction. Chapter four, verse number eighty-two, <coughs> and we prove to you many of them. Come on. Be brave, Abu. Come on, you are the man. Can I like call you back tomorrow? You can call me tomorrow, the day after. You know, by the way, uh, tomorrow I'm not uh, uh, already on tomorrow. You can call me now. Here we go. It's already one a.m. in the morning for me. So you, it's tomorrow. Call me now. Call me. Uh, come on, just uh, say I'm out of his now, my friend. Come on. I mean, uh, you are smart, and you agree that this is wrong, this is stupid. Already you said you are a Muslim, not a Muslim no more, because you said this is wrong. You said that Muhammad is saying wrong. By saying such a statement, you just agree that Muhammad is false. Like this is going to change, like, my entire life. So what? Change, change for better, so be smart. You know, you, you, you were a fool yesterday, today you are a smart person. Nobody can fool you. This is a change for good. Yeah, I think I can. I I can, I can call you tomorrow. No, why you don't say now? I am out of Islam. I want to know what's happening. Why, why you cannot say it? You, you just admitted that Muhammad is wrong. What is missing? By saying such a statement, you said Muhammad is a fraud. What kind of God is God? This God, this is a God. This is an idiot. If I watch Mickey Mouse, he can, he, you know, he can teach me something smarter. <laughs> So many people in the chat are like, he, he he's gonna leave. He's gonna leave. Don't worry about people in the chat, my friend. Worry about yourself, about your salvation. This is cult. You are a follower of a cult, my friend. Who care about people in the chat? Who care even about me? This is about you. See, for me, you became a Muslim. You became a Christian. You became a Hindu. This is your business. But voluntarily. For the sake of my Lord, the Messiah, based on love, I'm trying to help you as my little brother as much as I can. I cannot force you. I cannot tell you what to do. I can ask you, what do you think? Why you don't say Islam is false? You already you did. Why we cannot be brave and say the truth? I know, you know, already you are convinced that Islam is false. Why you don't want to say it? It's just like it's like been like my entire life, like from. So what? Uh, you know, if somebody is is smoking all his life, and then one day he finds that smoking is very harmful, should he st stop smoking or continue? We have to make a smart decision, all my friend. It's not about all my life. So what of all my life? If all my life was wrong, should I continue wrong? Okay, I'm out of Islam. Wonderful. I'm happy for you, my friend. Smart person. He's out of Islam. 
Thank you, Lord. My time did not was not wasted. And Abu 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 Hassan, uh, who challenged me, he said, "Why are you afraid to debate me?" <laughs> In the beginning, <laughs> now he let us know. <laughs> is it? Is it? This is. Is it? This is where it's funny. Abu, you you challenge me. Why you are coward? You are brave. Brave. Uh, call me. I will call you. You carry. <laughs> All right. Now it is time for for the good time. Forget about the faith in Muhammad and the garbage of Muhammad. Here we go, Christian Prince, in your service. How I can help you, my friend, about Christianity? Okay, so like like my main question is like the Christians believe that God had to come and like die for us. Like, I don't I don't get that. Like why would he have to come and die? No, first of all, nothing is called had to come. Nothing is called had to die. That's not absolutely false. You see, Jesus, he said, <clears throat> For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. For he loved the world, not because he have to. Nobody have to. Nobody have to. He love us. Because he love us, he want to save us. So you got the wrong idea about Christianity. Christ, he love you. He love me. He love all the Muslims, he love all the Hindus, he love all the Buddhas. He want to save everybody, every single one. The Bible says a happiness will be in the kingdom of God, our Father, if one soul is saved. Imagine how important your soul is. So, because he loves you, not because he have to, because this is for your sake, not for his sake. It's, it's me and you who might go to heaven or to hell, not him. He's not worried about himself. So, he loved to help you not he have to help you anything else mm. so you're just saying that god just like he did it because um he just he just wanted to he wanted to my friend god he created adam and eve according to the bible to share his glory with them like to give them the glory to live with him not to commit sin so like 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 if I wanted to become Christian, like would I have to go to like a Catholic church? Um, this is this, this is not the, this is this is not the, the question. Now, who cares about Catholic church or Protestant church? This is not really important. The the what make you save, my friend, is not a Catholic church or a Protestant church or Orthodox church. It's not a church who save you. It is Jesus the Christ. So if you want to be saved, you believe in Jesus the Christ, not in a church name. We don't care for a church. For me, I don't care if I am a Catholic or Protestant. What does this have to do? Uh, uh, the bishop cannot save me. The Pope cannot save me. Nobody can save me. Only one name. That is the Messiah. So for you, if you want to be saved, you have to believe in the Messiah, the Lord. He is the Savior, not a Christian prince. I am a sinner, my friend. The bishop is like me. The Pope is like me. We are men. We commit sin. We uh, we are made full of sin, you know. So sin is all over us. Who are who am I? Who who are you? Who is he? Who is she? Nobody can save you. Only the Holy God can save us, for He is only holy. So for you, is important is to accept the Messiah as your Savior. And which church you go to, I will help you later to see which one. I will see where you live. Uh, if you like to share with me some information in private, and you know, I will connect, contact some people, and see how we can help you in that field. But first, you have to accept the Messiah as your Savior, only the Messiah, no other name, you know, and that is the only way to be saved. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I, sh I think I should just do like more research into Christianity. Um, like I don't want to do the same mistake as last time, and and like believing in something that I like I don't know about. What What do you mean so, last time? What last time? You call me before? Like, like for with with Islam. What about you call me before? No, no, I said like, I don't want I don't I don't want to do the ah, same yeah, mistake. You, ah, okay, you became a Muslim. I mean, you were a Muslim without knowing that Islam is bad. No yeah. problem, you know, I'm not asking you to become a Christian now, but you see, for me, my friend, I have I have a duty, and the duty is voluntarily based in love, not because I have to, again, but my duty is because I love to help you. I invite you to the best, and the best of the best, that is the Messiah, because we might go to sleep right now, 
either you or me nobody knows we might not wake up again so for me I would love to save Abu Hussein from hell you know because you might go to sleep you never wake up is that correct it might happen yeah. to me it might happen to you death can come in any moment so we can be saved as long as we are alive and we believe we, after that point there is no point that's it so for me I would love to see you saved today not tomorrow but for sure this is a choice you make and I don't want you to say Shahada we don't believe in this garbage I want you to believe from your heart not to repeat words you do not know even what they mean we don't want such a thing we don't you know Christianity there's no hypocrisy of saying I say Shahada and that's it you are saved many they lie they say oh the Christian believe that Jesus saved them that said they can commit sin as uh, this is big fat lie the Messiah said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will which mean believe in him but yet you are a filthy person you never repent you are not a believer a true believer is the Messiah who described him as from their fruits you shall know them so how you know a Christian person a Christian person he spent his time speaking about Christ bringing people to Christ defending the truth loving people helping others helping the elders loving his parents loving his family taking care of the poor that is a Christian it's not those things will not take you to heaven no but those things is the fruit of a believer so the Messiah said from their fruits you shall know them which means if you are a truly true a believer then you do what you would believer do otherwise how a believer can be believer yet he have no good fruits so we don't believe that because I made donation I will go to heaven no you cannot bribe God but we believe that because you are a believer that belief will make you produce the good fruit which is a fruit fit with the Holy God so from their fruit we will know them but it's not the fruit will, will save you it's your faith the fruit is an evidence of you being alive it's like the blood you know you have a blood how we know that this person is alive we, we know we have we, we have his heart is beating so how come he is claiming to be alive but he have no heart so in Christianity the second you believe in the Messiah your heart should be there and what does that mean your heart for the poor your heart for the elder your heart for the needy your heart for the sick your heart for the one who need help your heart for your parent to love them to respect them your heart for everybody around you loving everybody that is your heart so you became a believer you have hate in your heart you are no Christian you became a believer you hurt others you are no Christian you became a believer you want to kill you want to hate you want to, you want to disgrace people you are no Christian so from their fruit we shall know them my friend and that is the fruit of Jesus not my fruit which mean because I believe in Jesus the Christ that the fruit is coming automatically from me for his light is shining through my face through my blood through my action through my words and this is why I spend my time today with you my friend and my brother Abu, Abu Hussein I do not know you my friend I never met you I have no idea who are you but voluntarily for the sake of love of God he made me sit with you all those hours and honest to my honest to God my eyes are hurting my back is hurting and I wish really I go and lay down but because I would love to save you before I go I say to you I want to stay with you until tomorrow I want to stay with you until next week may the Lord open your heart and save you and accept the Messiah and this is why I'm staying with you until now thank you so much uh, CP no don't thank me my friend I'm just telling you what is making me do what I'm doing if you want to thank thank the Lord the Messiah he I just told you he is the one who made me do that you see if not him I will be busy watching an action movie maybe or going to night clubs you know what I mean so yeah. it is not me really who is doing this to you it is him we just said when you are a believer the fruit of the Messiah is going to come through you this is not my fruit this is his fruit my fruit is ugly I have nothing good nothing good of me 
nothing good to be proud about. It is him who gave me little wisdom to share with you so you might be became a believer and you will be saved. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I, I understand what you're saying about Christianity is like all about forgiveness and then about like Jesus like coming to save you and then like, I, I like the message. Um, There's nothing like the Messiah, my friend. It's not only a message only. The, 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 you see, talk is cheap. I can speak good but I can't do bad. The Messiah is the only person who spoke and he did what he say. You see, Jesus, he keeps saying to us, forgive, forgive, love your enemy. It's okay. What if Jesus, he did not practice what he, what he said? That will make him hypocrite, correct? Yeah. Do you know what Jesus said when they were crucifying him in the cross? I actually don't know. He said, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. Can you imagine, Abu? I mean, you are putting nails in my hands. Humiliating me. Killing me, literally. And yet, I'm worried about you. Asking the Father to forgive them. Saying they do not know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. How much love is that? Can you imagine? Yeah, like a lot of love. So the Messiah is a person who do say something and he practice every word he said. It's going to be very embarrassing if he don't do what he asks us to do. In the death, in the moment of pain, everybody shouting, kill him, kill him. His blood in our hands, yet he is forgiving them. How amazing that is. This is what this is why when I say to you the Messiah said that from their fruits you shall know them. So how we know the Messiah from his fruits? Otherwise we do not know how he looked like. How I know the Messiah from his fruits, my friend. His fruits is amazing. It's not just a name, it's not just a reputation. It's not just the followers. It's just not how huge a number the Christianity, how big their church is. It doesn't matter if the church is small or big. If there's one believer left in Christ, still Christ is the truth. The number is not important. Forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. That is the teaching of God. That is the love of God. So the Lord, the Messiah, each time you, you were questioning about the Bible. How come in the Bible there's, there's, there is a contradiction? How come in the, the Lord himself, he is saying, forgive him, Father. He do not know what he is doing. This is how much he loves you. And that would make me, you know, speak to you. And I am not upset for saying there is a contradiction in the Bible. There is, etc. Because I know, I understand that the Lord he taught me to be patient forgive them father they do not know what they are doing and you are my like my little brother I'm sure I'm older than you still age is not important it's about how mature we are how intelligent we are and how right decisions we make and today is your day my friend I invite you right now as we speak to accept the Messiah as your Lord as your savior and it's up to you to say yes i accept or to say i don't want okay i accept i accept i mean to that hallelujah <laughs>